to all councillors present here today, as you look in, uh, on the website, uh, part and parcel when you are present on this meeting and you don't need to leave this meeting before we end it. Uh, councillors, first of all, uh, I would like each and every one of us to have a moment of self-reflection and think about all the victims of the coronavirus who succumb to it. We start the moment of silence now. Thank you very much, councillors. Councillors, officials, uh, welcome to the special virtual meeting on today, Friday, the 15th of May 2020 at 10, 20 minutes past 10. I would like to start the meeting by the following. Uh, direction 673 in GN 510 signed by the Minister Zuma on the 7th of May 2020 provides that all meetings of a council must be done using media platforms such as teleconferencing and video conferencing. I have called this virtual meeting in accordance with the directive of my authority under Rule 3 of the Rules of Order that authorizes me to give the ruling in respect of any eventuality for which the rules do not provide. It is my ruling that the meeting take place over this technological platform in accordance with the rules provided to you. Let me remind you of these rules. One. Councillors are requested to only make use of the video function when speaking. Please therefore use the mute or unmute camera option on the screen. Secondly, mute your mic if you are not speaking. Third, use the chat option to indicate that you want an opportunity to speak. At, uh, number three, remember that we will make use were the speakers list as provided by all parties. Four, wait for the speaker of the chairperson to call you, then unmute your mic. I repeat, unmute your mic. Five, for the purpose of voting, the speaker will request each councillor to declare their vote verbally. Six, I may introduce further arrangements at the meeting. Seven, all the other rules in terms of the council's rules or orders still apply to the extent applicable. Eight, councillors must ensure that when confidential matters are considered, that they are in a secure and private environment in order to ensure confidentiality. And lastly, we have decided to have a meeting before the budget meeting to ensure we iron out all the challenges before then. Please be patient since this is the first virtual meeting. I thank you. We will move over to the item list for today. And we start with number one, consideration and application by councillors for leave of absence from the council or council or committee meetings. Chief Whip. Uh, thank you, uh, Speaker. Um, at the moment, I've got only two uh, apologies received. Uh, one is from C Councillor Linda Lamb. He is on her way to a funeral in the Eastern Cape. And uh, the, <coughs> the second one is from Councillor Fika, who has uh, a doctor's appointment whilst we are, are meeting. Those are the only two officials, official apologies that I have uh, received. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Chief Whoop. Chief Whoop of the Opposition, Councillor Mangena. Good morning, Chief Whoop. Thank you. I've got Councillor Vika, Councillor Benene, Councillor Cindy Swasambokwe, and Councillor Duba. 
they will submit their doctor certificate to the chief when they are ready. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Councillor Mangina. Uh, City Manager. No apology, uh, Speaker. Thank you very much, City Manager. Councillors, then we proceed with our agenda. We, we first want to check on the pre who's present and you indicate if you are uh, on this virtual meeting. I'm starting. You just indicate yes or no. This is for the attendance register. Councillor Adrianza, yes or no? Are you present? Councillor Miriam Adrianza, Councillor Amelda Africa. Councillor Anderson. Councillors, before you react on what I am asking, unmute and then you speak. And then mute afterwards, you reacted. Councillor Adrianza, are you on? But no. Stay with your near councillor, I believe. Councillor Adrianza, present. Councillor Africa, Amyalda Africa. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Councillor Anderson. Yes. Councillor Anderson. Councillor Anderson. Unmute and then talk. Councillor Anderson, Joan. Councillor Rita Andreas. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Yeah. Councillor Arnold. Mike, unmute. Mute and unmute, councillors, please. Osleer Amal, we are learning this morning. Councillor Arnold. Present or not? Councillor Ruth Arnolds. Councillors, we need your cooperation, please. Does react uh, yes or no? Councillor Ruth Arnolds. I haven't seen, speaker, I haven't seen her at all this morning. I right. suppose she is not present at the moment. All right. Alderman Pakir. Alderman Pakir. Councillor Bester? Yep. Councillor Bester? Is there yes or no? Yes. Uh, Councillors, can you please react a little bit faster? Councillor Bankenberg? Councillor Blankenberg? Eric? Yes, Speaker. Councillor Boyson. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Buckle. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Cochran. Present, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Kibidu. Phoenix. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor. Patricia Kibido. Patricia Kibido. I haven't seen a speaker. Um, I will uh, try to contact her. Thank you. Councillor Claire Davids. Councillor Davids. Man. Claire. Thank you. All the Mata Huda. Ek is here. Thank you. Councillor David. Councillor David. No response. Councillor Dubak, this must 
Not yet. I know. Apology. Council of Fort. Council of Fort. I haven't ah. seen him all morning. I'm trying, Speaker. Councillor George. Present, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Ierfachhaus. Councillor Haus. According to the list, Speaker, she is part. She must just answer. Yes, you have to react, uh, Chief Wop. <sighs> I'm coming back to that one. Councillor Jonas. Sweetness. Speaker, I'm here. Councillor Goos. Councillor Goos, you want to give me Thank you. Councillor Jacobs. Francis Jacobs. Hi. Hi, good morning all. Uh, yes, Speaker. Yes or no, Councillor, only yes or no. Thank you. Councillor Jonas. Sweetness Jonas. I haven't seen all morning, Speaker. All right, thank you. Councillor Kearns. Ten border, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Klaas. <laughs> Councillor Kuchlenburg. Yes, Councillor, thank you. Councillor Kotze. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Crouch. Councillor Crouch. I have not seen all morning, Speaker. Thank you, Chief Wood. Linda Lando, apology. Councillor Lahu. Councillor Lahu. Ah. Councillor Lahu. Alderman. Yes, Speaker. Present. Thank you. Councillor Anati. Councillor Anati. Yes, yeah, Speaker. Goss. Councillor Mangena. Present. Thank you. Councillor Masoko. <laughs> Councillor Zolani Masoko. Councillor. Sorry, Speaker. Councillor Kraut is here. Councillor Speaker. Sorry for that. Councillor Kraut. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Councillor Masoko. Okay. Councillor Bellini, apology. Uh, Councillor Yaku Matia. Present speaker. Thank you. Councillor Panini, apology. Councillor Denusi. Are you on, Councillor? Councillor Denusi. Respond, Councillors, please. No. Councillor Valley Mayor. Ten Verder Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Miller. Ten Verder, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Tuso. I'm here, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor McQuena. Councillor Niel. Ten woorden, Councillor Bayedanki. Councillor Niels. Ja, speaker. Ah, ja. Councillor Nobula. Ah, ja. Nobula. Who speaking now? Is it Councillor Nusi? Ja, speaker. Councillor Nobula, are you present? No, no, sir. Ten minutes, speaker. I'm present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Councillor Denusi, uh, is it you speaking? Uh, Councillor Denusi, uh, are you present? Uh, 
Councillor Nomana. Councillor Nomana. Yes, we can. Thank you. Councillor Zele. Councillor Zele. Lawrence. Lawrence yes, speaker, present. present. Thank you, Lawrence. Uh, Burgemeester. Mayor, are you present? I think they can make scene. Yeah. No, you must say yes or no, Burgemeester. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Councillor Reigns. Councillor Reigns. Present, speaker. Thank you. Councillor yes. Richards. Councillor Richards. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Councillor Ricks. Councillor Ricks. Present speaker. Yes. Thank you. Councillor Ross. Present speaker. Thank you. Councillor Sambokwe. Is that the apology, uh, Councillor Mangena? One of the apologies, now? Councillor Sambokwe. Yes, apology. All right, thank you. Councillor Nicholas Sawaman. Present speaker. Thank you. Councillor September. Councillor September, Sharon September. Present or not? Councillors, Councillor Smith, Hannes, Councillor Hannes Smith, Alderman Rian Smuts. Yes, Speaker. Thank you very much. Councillor Solomons. Yes, Speaker. Councillor Van die Kerk. Thank you. Yeah, speaker, can order. Thank you, Councillor Van Evenijsen. Yes, speaker. Thank you, Councillor Van Santen. Yeah, speaker. Thank you, Councillor Fika. Apology, Councillor Van Vogel. Councillor Van Vogel. Councillor Willemse. Ten voordag, speaker. Councillor Zikali. Yes, speaker. Yes. Thank you very much, councillor. Councillor Stoneman. Yes. Councillors, thank you. Uh, we do have the we have a quorum, so we may proceed with our meeting. We move on, councillors, to item Item two. Speaker. Speaker, sorry. Uh, Councillor. Councillor Petir. Oh, all right. Yes, and listening. Speaker, you don't call my name. I'm present, Councillor Petir. Yeah, I do have it, uh, uh, Alderman. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Alderman. We move on to the item on the agenda. It's the confirmation of... Speaker, yes. I raised my hand and I sent a message. I want to uh, please uh, uh, say something. Uh, Councillor Moti. Continue. Just want to clarify your one of your statements that you made earlier on about the conditions of the, of the meeting, the rules yes. of the meeting. Yeah. I'm Proceed. not sure what I heard you correctly. Um, you you said that you are going to work from the list of speakers. I don't know whether you received my uh, email. Because I specifically requested that you please be lenient and that you uh, uh, that you allow councillors to speak because that list might change or might have changed because of the uh, the, the the problems that you had. Please, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, councillor uh, Moti. I do have the speakers list in front of me, and uh, 
I will use it uh, appropriately. Right, thank you. Thank you. We move on, councillors, to the item two, the confirmation of minutes. And I do it as usually, and you stop whenever you have a question regarding anything of the minutes. Page two, page three, and four, I will. I like some. Mm -hmm. Councillor Nancy, switch off your mic, please. Five and six. Miss, miss. Seven, eight. Nine and ten. Before we go. Uh, 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 Chief Whip, call Councillor Nancy to switch off, uh, to mute the mic, please. There's some interference. Yeah, we'll do so immediately. I'm trying in the background. Thank you very much. I'm proceeding. I, page 11 and 12, 13 and 14, 15 and 16, 17 and 18, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Chair, speaker, speaker. Uh, Councillor Mangena. On our Which side, you've got a problem. Your agenda is not, when we are paging, there's nothing happening happening in our side. So I was speaking to the IT guy, said it's, it's your side that's supposed to link with us properly. Okay, thank you. That's uh, 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 again, I'm, I'm, I'm only uh, referring now to the agenda. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll link up, the IT guys will link up later on with it. The build. Yeah, yeah. Okay, noted, uh, Councillor Mangena. Then we have the uh, attendance register on page 29. 30. Speaker. Yeah. Who's speaking now? It's Councillor Tuso. Tuso. Okay, Councillor Tuso, proceed. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. Speaker on page 27. Uh, uh, of the agenda. I'm trying to page my agenda speak. Can you just bear with me? Minutes? Are you referring yes, to the in the minutes of the meeting, speaker. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm rushing faster to get to page 27, speaker, so that I can refer you to the exact uh, uh, statement. Speaker on page 20, 26, sorry, uh, on it's uh, item 8.1, which speaks on the oversight report on the 2018-2019 annual report that are supposed was supposed to be presented or by the chair. However, it was reported in the meeting by the executive mayor that the chairperson was not uh, unable to attend the meeting due to the vehicle accident that occurred on that day. Chair, the point is the ANC that we are raising. We want to verify the, that uh, 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 statement made by the mayor and that there should be concurrence from the office of the chief whip and proven to council that indeed Councillor Lehu was in an accident on that day. Because as the ANC were of the view that the mayor that day misled the council. Thank you very much. Thank you. Noted, and we'll forward it to the chief. Well, thank you very much, Councillor. Do so, Councillors. Honourable uh, Speaker, Chief Whip. Chief Whip. Uh, I, I take note. I, I, I take note. You may proceed. Thank you very much. Do we have a proposal for the the, the minutes? Propose, Speaker. The name, so in, in, in the name, please. Councillor Ross. Councillor Soda Ross proposed. Thank you very much. 
Councillors, we move on to item Chair, three. Chair, Chair, speaker, sorry. Councillor Tuso. Uh, speaker, I propose that we adopt the minutes with uh, an omission that the chief whip has indicated that they will bring the report back to council, not to me, to council. Okay, thank you very much, Councillor Tuso. Uh, Item three. Chair. Herr Kronbrandt. Herr Kronbrandt, uh, you on? Was that now a proposal that that report must be come back to council that Councillor Tuso made there? Because that can't be. He will only liaise with the, with the chief of regarding the, the item which he has stated on page 26. Thank you, Speaker. Right. All right. Item three, statements and communication by the executive mayor and the deputy executive mayor. Executive mayor, you're on. Executive mayor. Thank you, Speaker. Um, speaker, despite of the it's fact the that I'm a very... Uh, 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 executive mayor, just hang on. Hang on. Councillors. Please. We, we stated quite clear that mute your mics, please, and that we conduct this meeting in a disciplined way. There are some uh, some uh, councillors. There are some councillors. Councillors, all you have to do <laughs> is we have the mic, please, to put a strike through it, then it's mute. All right, Speaker. proceed. Uh, say, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you, Speaker. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's very important and it's, it's, it's almost a good day. Um, a very good day. The fact that after so much uh, time we can gather in this format and you actually see that everybody is, is well rested and they, they look sharp. And I'm very glad that all of my counselors are, are safe despite of the corona. And what they are doing in their communities is for me uh, very great. And I want to uh, convey my sincere appreciation for everyone. And I hope from now on we can work together and make the difference in people's life. But bear with me, uh, speaker. Um, as you know, the coronavirus and its impact on every part of our daily life has, folk, has forced us to make many changes. It has forced us to do, to do things very differently to the way that we are used to. It has made us think out of the box and it has made us reflect on what our key objectives are and how are we going to achieve it. We face a triple threat from this COVID-19. We face a yield threat as the positive cases continue to climb. We face a social threat as people lose jobs and cannot feed their families. And we face an economic threat as businesses stand in idle during lockdown. While most of the country has been locked down for 40 days, the city manager and his team have put their soldiers to the wheel every single day including weekend and public holidays. I have been working very closely with the city manager and I thank him and his team for excellent job they have done so far under very difficult circumstances. Despite the challenge we have and the hurdles we face, I believe that Rakan Singh is doing exceptionally well. We are leading in many ways and others can learn from us. We do well because we work hard and we don't give up. But it's very important not for, for us to forget to say thank you and to say, well done. This is unnotarity. These are uncharted waters. But the leadership of this municipality and the teams they lead do not wait for a map or a manual. They just do what they need to be done. I would like to thank all essential services workers who have kept our hospital and clinics operational, our electricity on, our tapes running, our streets safe, and who have collected our disposed 
of our refuse. It was their unfavoring commitment that ensured we could continue to deliver basic services under difficult conditions in a very uncertain time. Speaker, the lockdown has brought about, about a rising need for food and aid in communities. I think those who have made donations have given what they can, can and who have contributed time and money to help the most vulnerable. Today, there are families that have food on the tables because of those who put their own needs aside to help others. It is easy to look at where things have not worked and point fingers and cast blame. I prefer to look at what has worked and where we have, have and still can make a difference and to say thank you to those who make it happen. We have done well, but there is still much to be done. I know I can count on your support and your commitment as a council and together we face the difficult days, weeks and months to come. Speaker, I want to end up there by saying there is an Ethiopian proverb that says, if spiders work together, they can tie down a lion. Together we shall overcome COVID-19. I thank you, Speaker. Thank, thank you very much, Executive Mayor, uh, for your statements. Uh, Deputy Executive Mayor, you on? Covered, Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much. Then we move on to item four. It's the statements of communication by the Speaker. Councillors, you need uh, to know that the demarcation uh, board have extended till the end of the month your submission for input. Speaker. So please uh, see to, that you do that. Speaker. Uh, Speaker. Who's speaking now? Speaker. So I don't know Hold whether on. you're now not seeing the, the, the right and I just, just I on. ask for, for, for an opportunity to say to speak here on this item, please. Okay, okay, just hang on, yeah. Uh, Councillor, Councillor Moti, before you start, remember all councillors, when you indicate, I can't, I, I can't see the show of hands or anything, just indicate your name, then I will know who wants to speak. So, Councillor okay. Moti, you, you're on. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, the, the COVID-19 pandemic has gripped the entire world and has drastically changed our way of life for the foreseeable future. This is indeed a very historic occasion for us to having our very first virtual council meeting. We are indeed in uncharted waters, as the mayor said, and this meeting will be a learning experience for all of us. We therefore request that you as chair of this meeting con be considerate and be flexible in how you manage the, the today's meeting. Speaker, it is, it is day 50 of the lockdown and the executive mayor of Drakenstein municipality, Alderman Conrad Kuhl, has not once met with the opposition parties of this council. Unlike our very competent and wise president, Cyril Ramaphosa, who has consistently met and consulted with opposition parties in parliament, we have to ask why does the mayor not want to take us into confidence? During a visit to one of the venues which houses the homeless people, the homeless people asked me to ask the mayor to provide them with, uh, uh, with mattresses. The mayor's response was to give them an extra blanket. Is this what the mayor of Drakenstein thinks of the poor and the vulnerable people? The, the number of COVID positive cases is steadily increasing and the public out there is getting concerned and wants to know if Drakenstein is ready and doing enough to curb the spread of virus in our densely populated areas. Um, Especially, Hello? according to the latest stats for Drakenstein, 48, Drakenstein has 48 active cases and one person has sadly died. We extend our sincere condolences to the family. This is a time that we have to leave our political differences aside and work together to prevent further loss of life. We owe it to the people who elected us to council. They expect us to serve them unconditionally. 
is the agency we are concerned about the lack of service delivery in our informal settlements and especially the lack of water and sanitation in those areas. We want to know what plan is in place to provide more toilets and water points. In some informal settlements areas, like Hoda, for instance, where there are 340 shakes, there are only two out of three toilets that are working and one tap is, is, is in working condition. We want to know why is there no transparency with the appointment of the NGOs who are distributing, distributing the food parcels? Of the ANC wards, only one nine received parcels. Where did the other parcels go? According to unconfirmed reports, Drakenstein municipality have so far distributed 2,765 food parcels, with a further 2,235 food parcels in progress. Where did these food parcels go? How much did it cost and who paid for it? Can the mayor please take us into confidence on these issues? Recently, we were informed that the unspent water committee funds were redirected. We would like to know how much was this amount and where was it spent now? The ANC is asking that there be fairness, openness, and that we look at the situation with different eyes. Mensen om standaarden het wordt nacht drastisch veranderd. En die we nog een maand geleden genoeg hadden om voor, voorziening te maken aan de families, het nou schuldig en met eens niks. This is the reality of the new normal. We have to ask the question, is there political interference in the allocation and decision-making process of the food parcels and food and voucher process? We would like a response to our questions from the mayor. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much for your statement, uh, Councillor. Uh, the mayor heard and he will respond accordingly. We move on to our agenda. Item four is was my, my turn. Statements and communications of the speaker. Tuso, Tuso. Speaker. Tuso. Speaker. Tuso? Yes. I would like to ask uh, speaker, when is the mayor going to respond? You are just saying the mayor is going to respond and we are, we are moving on. Right, we are moving on. Thank you. We are moving on with the agenda. I will see that the mayor and, 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 and uh, requested by uh, Councillor Richards that they meet on the issue addressed earlier. Thank you. Uh, the same from the speaker, as I said earlier. Uh, Councillor. Just, just speaker. hang on, just hang on. I, I want to finish. The All those who have their birthdays uh, during this month, we wish you all uh, a happy birthday. And we know under the circumstances, no parties could have, that could have take place. So this is in short from speaker. my side. Speaker. Speaker. Indicate, indicate you're speaking. Councillor Mangena. Just in addition, uh, I want just to add something here. We have received an SMS from the officials that says, the award projects and the operational projects are suspended by the mayor and and the municipal manager. My request or my my question is, what are they going to do with the money? Because before you go further, there's a feedback hmm. from your side. Just check on your your mic or your equipment there. There's a feedback. Making a noise. There is a guy. There is a guy that is going to assist. Yes, on the IT. Right, right. It, okay. It's better. My question is: we, Where is the money going to be spent? How much is it? Why the mayor and the city manager took a decision of that nature? because we're supposed to be told that the money is going to be used somewhere. Because COVID-19, our municipality did receive funds from the national government. Because the issue was because of the COVID-19, that's why they have suspended the operational and ward project money. I want just to know, as ANC wants to know that, where are they going to spend the, this money to? Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. I think the, all the questions have been raised uh, according to the COVID-19. 
the mayor will respond uh, at the following meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, speaker. Uh, speaker, speaker. Um, um, executive mayor. Is 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 just what uh, that you said? Uh, what you said? Um, I just now get a concern from the ANC and councillors that they are worried, so they have to put it on paper all their all their worries, and we will respond in paper. Because a much almost ninety percent or ninety five percent is being addressed on a daily matter caused by all councillors get the info of decisions uh, taken in what we are doing with the funds. And by the way, um, not, not even further deliberate on the matter of funds that we are receiving. Um, cause why, uh, as I just know, I cannot, I only can speak from of what I knew is one million rands, and and if that, if that is sufficient for a municipality, but that's so big as from Saron to to Samondium, uh, and we have only received last month uh, sixty-seven percent of income because people don't have money to pay. So people, I want to uh, answer the the questions and concerns raised by the councillors in writing. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much, Executive Mayor. All right, so that point is now solved. Let's move on to item 4.1. Disclosure Speaker. of interest by councillors or officials. Any councillors or officials Speaker. who have any interest in this agenda today. Speaker. Identify yourself. Councillor Pakir. Alderman Pakir, speak up. I just want to make it clear to the mayor that we are in a council meeting. Now the mayor must respond in council meeting. Why is the mayor referring us to putting a pen to paper? If you can respond here in council meeting. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, uh, Alderman Pakir. Uh, we note what you have said, and we're in a council meeting, and it's not in the agenda, so we will proceed with the agenda. Item 4.1, as I said, the disclosure of interest. My question was, is there any councillor or official who have any interest in this agenda today? Yes, no. We proceed. Item, Speaker, item councillor five. Speaker, councillor Rains. Councillor Reins, is it on the Thank same you, agenda? Speaker. Is it on the Speaker. same point now? Speaker, Councillor. I approach you long before Councillor Bakir has spoken, but you're just ignoring me. Speaker. Councillor Reins. In very short, very short, short, Speaker, I just want to echo what Councillor Bakir was saying. It's true what you are saying that. We can't just expect the mayor to respond to everything when we raise issues up in council meeting. But what we agreed upon is for the mayor to go back and to come back with answers to a council meeting. It is not a two-way show when councillors raise issues because it's not a personal thing. It's a council matter regarding our communities. And I just want to salute uh, Councillor Moti on the input. Mate. It's a very relevant input uh, on the corona issue. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor. Mm -hmm. Noted. Item five, statutory matters. There are none. Item six, mm -hmm. consideration of reports. We have the usual reports. So we will move on to item 6.1, uh, starting with the portfolio finance. Uh, Councillor Ger Cobrand, item 6.1, you may proceed. Thank you, Speaker. I'm on page 34 of the uh, Agenda PAC, the Municipal Finance Management Act, Section 71 monthly and 52 quarterly budget monitoring report. And the uh, recommendation speaker is on page 34, 3.1, 3.12 uh, on page 35. And I would like to draw your attention to a theme where it says that at the end of 
uh, this report period, we were 53% already spent on the capital budget and 3.4 actual and committed expenditure was 80,71% up to that uh, point in time. Speaker, I so move. We have a seconder. Ben de Goede. Thank you, Alderman de Goede. Listed speakers, Councillor Moti, you're on. Councillor Moti, Richards. Yes, thank you, Speaker. You uh, no, 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 I just have uh, one or two uh, uh, um, issues that I want to raise, and maybe that uh, the Deputy Mayor can uh, just answer me on those two uh, issues. Um, I can. I just wanted to uh, point you to page 35, 3.2. I notice with concern that we are, are underspending uh, on our operational uh, budget by 65 million rand. If I remember, if, if you look in the minutes, last month it was, or the, in February, the previous month, it was 80 million rand. Can the uh, deputy mayor just explain why is it and why are we why are we underspending with uh, such a lot of money? And then can he also just explain why do we still have 180 million rand of unspent conditional and unconditional funds? Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically my questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Um, the the amount of operational unspent funds was due to uh, processes that we've put in place to curb expenditure. We were also going into the lockdown phase and you will see when we get into the April report in the next month, we are even underspending more and that is due to the fact that, that we can't do everything that we did in the past. So that's that. On the uh, grant section, the 118 million, there are a couple of grants that we can't spend um, and the biggest portion of that is made up by the housing grant, which is run by the Department of Housing in the Western Cape. Um, they do the appointment of the contractors and that whole process stood still now for two months. And that is why we are behind schedule on the unconditional and conditional grants. Thank you. Uh, can I, can uh, I just ask a follow-up question, please, Speaker? Yeah, proceed, Councillor. Just for clarity, just proceed. For clarity and for my understanding, um, for, does that mean that the 118 million rand if we have received that in cash from the different uh, provincial and national governments, and that it's in our bank account and it's reflected in the in in the last uh, items, uh, which is 3.11 and 3.12. Is that part of that? Uh, those amounts? Thank you, Speaker. Council Speaker, as, dis as discussed previously, the uh, grant section uh, that under I just want to page to that that specific page. Uh, some of that grants have already been spent, and some of them uh, must be journalized out of that. If uh, Councillor Moti looks at the column that says uh, funds that came in. That's the relevant section that he that he needs to uh, look at for what grants are still available in that section. Thank you, Councillor Combrink. Councillor Tuso. Councillor Tuso. Uh, thank you very much. It's just a follow up uh, on, on, on on what Councillor Combrink has responded to is to is, is is alluded to the fact that. The reason why we have, we have answered is because they've put a process to cap expenditure. If I may just ask, what are the reasons for the cap expenditure? Thank you very much, Chair. Councillor Combrin. Uh, speaker, the sound, the sound was a bit off. Uh, let me just clarify, did Councillor Tuso ask what is the reason for the CAPEX expenditure that was not fully done? Yes, proceed. Okay, Speaker, everybody knows about the, the Oosbosch road for a, for a start. That whole project was standing still now for two months. So no expenditure could take place there. But if you have a look yesterday, the contractors were back on site because of the lifting of certain of the restrictions 
due to the COVID-19. So they will start spending now, but um, it looks like we will not uh, reach the full 90% expenditure on the um, on the, the the capital expenditure of this financial year. And that's why the uh, the president uh, through national treasury made it a, a possible for us to in June come to council with a special adjustments budget to to uh, rectify the underspending that is going to take place in this financial year so that we can carry over certain of that amounts to the next financial year and make different plans to get our projects rolled out. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Kombrink. Uh, thank you very much for the questions, Councillor Moting, Councillor Tuso. Item 6.1 on page 33, unanimously accepted, is so recorded. You may proceed to item 6.2. Uh, 6.2 is the report on deviations from procurement processes for the month of March. Speaker, the recommendation is on uh, page six, uh, 76, and council it, it, they recommended that council, in terms of paragraph 36.2 of the supply chain management policy, take note of the deviations and the reasons for the deviations to the amount of 147,906 rand for March, as recorded, and then 3.2 that the thing chief. Uh, financial officer record the accumulated deviation amount of 11,048790 million for the financial year in the notes to the annual financial uh, statements. Speaker, I would like to draw your attention to page uh, 78, if you page to that page, um, and especially for Council Moti, uh, line three in that table, we are still on that 614 1,617 rand in a practically impossible uh, deviation type. So that's been standing absolutely still like that since January. Speaker, I so move. Thank you very much. Do we have a seconder? Bende Thank you, Alderman. I item 6.2 on page 75, unanimously accepted and so recorded. You may proceed, uh, Councillor Combren, to item 6.3. Thank you, Speaker. 6.3 is the quarterly report on the implementation of the supply chain management policy for the uh, first quarter of 2020, January till March. And the decision, uh, the recommendation is uh, that the report be taken note of as in the next year A, and that the report be made public in accordance to Section 70, uh, 21A of the Municipal Systems Act. I so move, Speaker. Thank you very much. Seconded by. Thank you, Alderman. Listed Speaker, Councillor Moti, you on? Councillor Moti? Sorry, are we on uh, item 6.3? The policy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, can I, I just want to refer you to page 102. Item number 38. Um, I see that we we have, we have implemented, we haven't implemented it all. Well, the, the, the indicator there says no, but in the comment section, and I think we've, we've raised this issue previously also in a, a previous meeting, that the chief exec, audit executive has been appointed in November 2019. So I want to know whether that is correct um, or, or they, uh, should that not be yes now? Or does it mean that the, that the CIE is not uh, independent of, uh, enough for, for that position? Uh, speaker, we haven't uh, implemented somebody from outside and at in 2019, when we appointed the chief audit executive, it was decided that the chief audit executive will be independent enough to oversee this function. Thank you very much. Councillor Tuso, you will listed. Councillor Tuso. So dead. I'm so dead, speaker. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. So, councillors, item 6.3 on page 89. Unanimously accepted and so recorded. Councillor Combrink, item 6.4. Uh, 
Thank you, Speaker. Then I'm on page 119, report on the tender awards for the month of March. And the recommendation is that Council takes note of the awards above 200,000 that were adjudicated. Speaker, and in this uh, report, none, uh, there were no tenders awarded. Um, the only one that was advertised, we couldn't award because um, nobody tendered for that specific um, item that we were looking for. So uh, this is to be noted. I so move, Speaker. Thank you very much. Second it. Bender Gouda. Yes. Thank you, Alderman. Uh, Councillor, item 6.4 on page 118, unanimously accepted and so recorded. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Combrink. We move on to corporate services. Councillor McQuinna, you're on. Councillor McQuinna. Yes, Speaker. I will proceed. Item 6.5. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, proceed, Councillor. Okay, my first item is on page 1 to 6. I'm just trying to open the document. It's the report to Council from the Audit Committee uh, meeting held on the 6th of March in 2020. Um, wait. Da, 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 da. I'm just moving up the, my pages. Okay. There we go. It's uh, the purpose of this report is to request council to nominate a panel to conduct the interviews of prospective candidates to serve on the, uh, the municipal. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, I open up and. Councillor, can you act together, please? Yes, I was. I opened the finance documents, so I'm just trying to open my section. Okay, okay here six. we go. Proceed. Yes, and here, point five. Yes, Speaker. It's the report to Council from the Audit Committee meeting held on the 6th of March. Okay, page seven. On page one to six, it's the summary. Uh, it's to report to Council on the deliberations and the resolution taken at the Audit Committee meeting held on the 6th of March 2020. And, it's recommend and the recommendations are uh, that Council note that the report of the Audit Committee from the meeting held on the 6th of March 2020. It's just for notification. Uh, so recommend Thank people. Thank you. Second it. Second it. Councillor. Councillor Kern. Thank you, Councillor Kearns. Speaker Tuso. Councillor Tuso. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, I don't know, the item is reported as being that we are noting the item, yeah. but the, in the document itself, it is saying uh, that the item is for decision by Council. So I'm, I'm trying to check which one is working so I don't confuse uh, our substantial. In the summary, it's a report to council on the deliberations. You got it? It is a summary at one. Okay. So if you may, I'll give me a minute so that I assist you and probably show you to what document I'm referring to. It, it might be that you don't have the same documents. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to ask page? you to please. I'm on page. I'm opening the documents now, Chair. I'm on page 127 of yeah. the first of the corporate uh, uh, document. It says the summary to report to council on deliberation and resolution taken by the audit committee. And the second point it says for decision by council by the MMC is saying that the, the report is for noting. That's why I'm saying Chair, I'm seeing clarity there. Thanks. Thank you very much, Chair. According to according to my document, it says that that council note the report of the audit committee from the meeting held on the sixth of March 2020. That is what I got in front of me. Okay, which means chair for different documents you have sent me the wrong document. Okay, can I, can I speak? It's, not it's just 
Judges, Councillor McQuena, Councillor Councillor McQuena, finish up, okay. uh, Councillor Tussle, and then you respond. Councillor uh, Tussle. Th thank you very much, Chair. Chair, I'm saying in the document that I am reading and have received, it is saying on page 127 that the report is, 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 is there's a summary and they're saying the report is for decision by council. And I'm saying the document received, this is the wrong document. Thank you very much, Chef, without delaying the meeting. Councilor oh. McQuena, you want to indicate something? No, I'm, f um, I'm fine. Can I continue? No, 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 no. Uh, Councillor Tussle, this report only served at council. Okay. So, item 6.5 on page 126, mm -hmm. unanimously accepted and so recorded. You can proceed, council. Item 6.6. .6. On page 145. It's the audit committee fee increment for the financial year 2020 and 2021. Um, and it's for this council, as for recommendations on page 147, uh, I uh, recommendation 3.1, 3.2, I so recommend. We have a second. Thank you. 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 Thank Incoming video to make your connection stable. We don't need to see everybody. Sorry to say to disappoint you, it's not me. Turn off incoming video, what's that one? It's the bottom one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Speaker. Uh, councillors? 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 Yeah, councillors. Yeah. I, I... People are making noise. First, please, can you please. address them? Yo, Michael, we don't know what's going on. Turn off your microphone, please. Everybody, turn off your microphones. That's much better. Uh, Councillor Magena. To, uh, to, 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 to say people are making noise. I don't know what's going on. They must put their mics off. Yeah, you can't I hear anything. Them. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Councillor McQuena? Councillor McQuena? Councillor McQuena? What is Hello? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, you bet. You you okay. Yeah, much better. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, right, it's you, page 151, item, item 6. Yeah, it's page 151, item 6.7. It's the appointment right. of the uh, to conduct interviews to fill the vacancy on the municipal audit committee. Um, the purpose of the report is okay, it's um, as per recommendations. Uh, stated on page 152, it is recommended that council appoint three members of council to join the city manager cha chairman on a panel of interviewing prospective candidates to fill a vacancy on the municipality's uh, audit committee. 
Okay, the members that are nominated um, are Alderman Kuas Lohu and uh, Councillor Lohu and, and Aiden Sto Councillor Aiden Stoneman. I so recommend. Thank you very much, Councillor. Uh, second. Seconded by Gerd Kombrink. Listed speaker, Councillor Moti, you on. Yeah, I'm, hello, I'm Councillor Moti. Thank you very much. I'm Item Kaur. six point. Thank, thank you. you. Item six point seven on page one five one, unanimously accepted and so recorded. You may proceed to the next item, Councillor McQuenna. Item six point eight on page one five six. Okay, it's the quarterly. It's a quarterly performance assessment report for the financial year 2019-2020 uh, as from 1st January to 31st March. And it is recommended as stated on page, as per recommendation stated on page 158, uh, recommendation 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3, .3, I so recommend. Thank you very much. Do we have a second there? Sweep, thank you. Councillor Moti, you on? Yes, Chair. Just give me a second. I just need to go to the patient. I want to. Move. I think. Maybe. Councillors, come, 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 Councillor Moti. Yeah, you just hold on, just hold on. All right. Okay, on page 172. Uh, the first item, the very first item in that in that table, TL 13. Um, I just want to know why. I, I don't. I don't agree with the with the description or the comments. Um, the 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 actual uh, the actual ratio is fifty three point six. Um, how does the how how did the um, the COVID nineteen or the lockdown affect that? Oh, or the extension? Okay. If you. Uh, speaker Gert, may I? Yeah, uh, 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 Gert, you may proceed. Thank you, Speaker. Um, we moved the payment of the March account from the 15th of April to first to the 26th of April. You will remember that your uh, accounts showed the 26th of April. And then we decided to move it on to the 30th of April because of the, the a lot of people asked us, can't we pay it a little bit later? So then we moved it on to the 30th. So we lost 15 days on, on the payment schedule for that specific month. And that pushed us up to the 53,6. Thank you very much, Councillor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I still don't agree. I mean, why this? We are talking about March. This is until the. This is for the for the third quarter, going up till the thirty first of March. And if I remember correctly, if I, I uh, the previous uh, the previous uh, two quarters was also more than fifty uh, fifty. So how does how, uh, we can't use the the impact of the of the COVID ninety to to justify why we are going uh, uh, why we are over 50 if the previous quarters were also over 50 councillor kombrink councillor kombrink follow up uh, speaker may i Yes. Hello. Proceed. Yes. Um, proceed. The uh, I don't have the the other quarters with me, but for this quarter, the accounts payable was raised up to a certain date in March. 
and they were supposed to be paid in April for the previous period. So we pushed onwards the period where it could have been paid. And that's why the days were longer than the not under 50, but over 50 to the 53,6. Thank you very much. Can I ask uh, the deputy mayor? Councillor Mottijo, one was 56. Quarter one was 56. Quarter two was 50.3. So the average was 53 for the two quarters. So it was over 50 already. And now we, we st we're still sitting on 53. Yeah, Speaker, I'm only talking on the, the current quarter that we are reporting on. Okay, it was only on the current one, uh, Councillor Moti. All right. The next question, Councillor Tuso. Councillor Tuso. Alderman Bakir. Alderman Bakir. Are you sorted? OK, thank you very much. Item 6.8 on page 156, unanimously accepted and so recorded. We move on to item 6.9. Councillor McQuinnah, you may proceed. On page 186, it's the decisions by the city manager in concurrence with the executive mayor in accordance with the reg regulation 6.3.7.3. Uh, subsection F of the regulations issues on terms of section 20, section 27, subsection 2 of the Disaster Management Act 2002 on, on the 18th of March 2020 as amended. Um, it is recommended as the recommendation stated on page 187, 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3 and 3.4 on page 188. I so recommend. Thank you very much, Councillor. We have a seconder. Seconder by Councillor Ross, please. Thank you, Councillor Ross. Listed speaker, Councillor Tuso. Councillor Tuso, you're on. Councillor Moti. Uh, yes, I'm on. Uh, you are yes, thank you. Um, I, I just want to find out know, um, why is the the MOU with Valke not attached to the agenda? Surely we, we we must we must be able to see what is in that what what the MOU says. I I don't see it. And can we have a copy of the MOU? Councillor Moti, you can you can get the the copy. It's available, right? Councillor okay. Mangena, sorry, Chair, I'm I'm not finished. Can I just ask? I see there's a there's a the 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 amount that is going to be spent on the vouchers of, for the seven thousand sixty five vouchers is one point eight million. The mayor previously said that is one one million. Um, can I ask where the other 800,000 rand is coming from? Um, and how the, the other issue that I have with the vouchers is that where are the, uh, the vouchers are going to be redeemed at certain uh, businesses? Have we considered the small businesses and the, uh, especially the, 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 the black owned businesses in, the, in, the, in our areas? And um, I, want to, I want to know because I've seen somewhere that these vouchers are redeemable at ShopRite and Pick and Pay, um, but I don't see any of our other uh, 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 businesses like Aesop's and the, in, in the one in Dal um, and other in Centerpoint and, and, and Polarama. Those are our major and one up. Why can't they uh, exchange those, those vouchers in, in those, at those areas? Why must they go to town to, uh, to redeem the vouchers while they can do it nearby? Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker? Uh, Executive Mayor. 
seat, as I said in in the first time, is 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 uh, Councillor Moti is quite right. Um, he are posing questions around the accountability of money, and we are accountable. And yes, if he can put that together with the first uh, uh, concerns, we will then answer him him completely in writing, so that he can can have something in writing that is his evidence. So if we can put it in writing, we can answer. Chair Councillor Tuso. Chair Councillor Tuso. Right. Thank you, Executive Mayor. Councillor Tuso. Chair. Councillor Tuso. I, 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 I see this is going to be a trend. Where we we'll sit in a meeting, we're we'll given information. When we question the information, we're we'll told we must write it down. What's the use for these meetings? They are capable officials that are appointed by the municipality. They must respond to these questions. Do you want to tell me every board who's in this visual meeting can answer questions that have been asked by councillors? Why are we meeting? It's not fair that every time when we ask questions, we must be referred to writing down questions. You don't have to meet also, Mayor. You must just write down the information to us. We write back to each other when you get paid. Thank you, Councillor Tuso. Councillor Mangena. Um, chair. Chair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just hang on. I'm, I'm working through my, my, my speaker's list. And then you indicate. I just want to Councilor. follow up question. Who's speaking now? Who speak? Who's speaking now? Councillor Jonas. Again. Councillor Jonas. Councillor Jonas. Just hang on, Councillor No, 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 no. You hang on. Councillor Mangena. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, it's a reality that comes uh, from, I concur with uh, Councillor Tuso Bulanya. We are not going to prepare people or councillors for a meeting that is coming next month. When we raise questions, we are expecting, we're expecting that we must be answered in a council meeting. Now, when you are come with the technologies of us as the opposition, we must write letters for you to prepare you so that when you come back to us, it, polit politics doesn't work that way, Mayor and your municipal manager. It doesn't work that way. Whatever decision that you are taking, you must be prepared, be prepared that you are going to answer in a council meeting. Don't want, you don't want us to, we are preparing you now. Speaking in this council meeting, we are preparing you to come back to us now and, and, and respond now. Not for us to give, you must remember, you are a MAKO member, you are a leader of a MAKO. You are supposed to be prepared when you are coming to these meetings not for us to prepare you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor. Speaker, Councillor Van Nicker, oh. can I respond to just, one just, question? Just hang on, Councillor. Whoa, 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 just hang on, just hang on. Councillor uh, A.B. Pakir. Speaker, I just want, I have a follow-up yeah. question. Whoa, I want whoa, to have whoa. a request. Councillor, <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm talking to a... Uh, uh, what my speakers list? Speaker. You hang on. Uncle, I acknowledge you. You, you hang on. Councillor A.B., proceed. Speaker, thank you. I also want to add my voice. You know, I was looking forward to come into this the first time that we have a virtual council meeting, to come to this council meeting. But, you know, I'm sitting here and actually wanted to say that can't I exit myself from this council meeting? Because every time uh, we have to hear from Alderman Poole that, no, no, put things on in writing. He's a mayor and he's accountable to this council. So he can't refer us to write something and then bring it back. But then on the other end also, uh, the thing of Valke, how did you get to, out of all the NGOs here in Drakensen or MPOs, how did you guys, uh, I mean, Alderman Poole and the city manager get to Valke? Is there not other, uh, don't we have other NGOs and specifically, NGOs that reside in our communities. Why must it be an NGO that is outside of our community? Thank you. Speaker, Speaker. I want to request Speaker. Speaker, I, I want to request that the MOU be sent to all the councillors and not only to Councillor Moti. 
Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Speaker. Noted. Noted, Councillor. Uh, 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 Executive Mayor, before you come in, Councillor Fanny Kirk. Thank you, Speaker. Um, in terms of, of the MOU, I think Councillor Jonas asked now that the MOU be sent out. Um, the questions regarding the, um, the VALCA and why it was um, chosen. Speaker, the, the program mm. was really a, a big um, project and in terms of the capacity of um, the NGOs that we worked with, VALCA was the best um, suited um, NGO that already dr had driven yeah, a, pro a project. So in yeah, terms of yeah. that, um, to deal with logistical arrangements and also the software that needed to be used for, for this whole project, I think that was um, by, on that basis the, the NGO was, was elected. And also the capacity to work with the other NGOs, the other 200 NGOs to, to work and have a network of, of of NGOs and also establish admin process. Speaker, then um, there was a question with regards to the 1 million rand and the 1.8 million rand in the MOU. It is stated that the municipality have the procured or gave the 1.8 million rand. The 800,000 was from, from the municipality's own funds and it was already uh, a decision taken by the city manager and the mayor to have our own funds um, coming from various savings on the budget to have this project um, headed because it was at this at that stage uh, uh, a project that needed to to be run um, given the fact that COVID-19 affected a lot of livelihoods in in the municipality and speaker there was a question to ask by Councillor Moti for the shops that were being used um, and why not Centerpoint and also Polarama um, to run this project with the vouchers. It also stated that um, or needed that a system was in place in terms to issue vouchers and also that the shops had the capacity to deal with um, the loads of, of, of um, administration that goes with it and these established um, retailers in in our communities in far east was um, on on already on board and online ready to go with the voucher project because of the risk that it pertains to to the logistical arrangements and it's not because um, we didn't want to use center point but if they were up to 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 deal with the administration process and coming online, I think that was the key factors that influenced the seasons to use um, the the retailers that already have this online um, system. I think that was the key factors that came out from from the question speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Executive Mayor. You're the last one on this item. Executive Mayor? No, Speaker. No, 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 no. You can't do that to us. Please. Uh, Councillor Magena, you had your chance. Just hang on. No, 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 no. It's not about, no, 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 no. It's not about chance here. Don't do that to us. Speaker, Executive can I raise a point of clarity, please? Speaker, Executive can I raise a point Mayor. of clarity? Just hang on, Councillor Reigns. Councillor, uh, speaker, speaker, no, 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 don't do that. This item is still open. Don't, don't close it. Speaker, speaker, please. Speaker. Executive Mayor, Executive Mayor, you on? Speaker, point of clarity. Yeah, just hang on with the point of clarity. The Executive no, Mayor is on. Not allow speaker, me, no. Of my, point of speaker. You must allow me because it's a point of clarity. Councillor Reigns, your point speaker, of clarity. The clarity that I'm seeking is the rules of order is clear. Every councillor has three minutes on every item if they wish to speak. You can't come and say, Mayor, you will be the last per person on this item. You can't do that. Councilor it is Reigns, right. proceed. Proceed. So allow to speak. 
I'm done, Speaker. Thank you very much. Councillor Mangena. Thank you, Speaker. Yeah, I should think uh, uh, Councillor Faniker took me back to what was raised before when the mayor was responding, saying that we must write letters to him or to whoever. Now, I want just a clarity from her when she was saying the NGO is the best NGO. To me, that is the smelling of a rat. To me, uh -huh. because you must remember from the comments of Mr. Olano, Councillor Richards spoke about the president meeting with the different organizations before the COVID-19 took a decision. All of a sudden now, she's telling us now, they have appointed this NGO because of is the best. People, don't, let us not play politics about COVID-19. We must speak, a real, must be on the right track. She's shooting herself on the foot or is shooting it DA on the foot. Thank you, Chair. Speaker. Thank you very much. Speaker. Executive Mayor. Hello. Uh, I, what I want to say is the following. I won't say that the councillors that have talked to the item is wrong. And I won't say from our side that we are, what we have said is wrong. But I don't, I don't agree that if you don't have the facts pre-hand, the whole situation pre-hand, to inform councillors, I think we must take a step back. What the new regulations of COVID-19 is putting upon the mayor and the city manager is that any decisions taken in the space of COVID-19 must be just been notified in council. And that is what we've done. Now, people have asked certain questions. Yes, I do have the, the information where the 1 million and the 800 is coming from. No, I don't want to answer it. Cause why? It has to be in writing so that people can have evidence. Then the MOU, how do we have come about with Yalke? Yes, there was a criteria, there was a process, and that process must be in writing so that they can uh, look to the process whether it was fair or not. But sitting here and giving an answer to questions and not having the facts right is not my game. I want to lead my council with facts. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. Councillors, we conclude on speaker, item six. Who's speaking I'm now? To, to speak, it's Comrade uh, Councillor Malti. Councillor Malti, yes? Yes, no, Speaker, I, I, I have a problem with it. We're, it is a normal procedure for any uh, a contract or MOU to be attached to the agenda when there is such an a, 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 a item. Why is this specific one being excluded? I want to. I don't want to wait another month to see the MOU. Let the administration please email those uh, that uh, MOU to all councillors now, so that we can see what is going on there. And I don't accept the fact here again. This council is not supporting small business. It's not supporting black business. And here we can see again that 1.8 million rand from council money is going to go to big business who is going to, uh, to, to uh, 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 benefit out of this. This is unfair. There are businesses, all businesses are suffering outside there. So we must, uh, uh, we must try and be fair and, and, and equal to all, the, all our businesses. We also need to, 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 to build small businesses. And we need an answer, a, a better answer than, than, than that. If you go with a voucher, you just exchange the voucher. There's what administration is involved there. Why, do, why make it so difficult for, 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 for those businesses? They are small businesses. They are not shop right and checkers and, and, and pick and pay. They're sitting with uh, millions and billions of rands of, of uh, uh, equipment, of IT equipment. We must address this issue. We can't support this item if we don't have all the facts. The mayor can't say 
that he doesn't have the, the he has the facts, but he can't tell us the, to us now. By the time we get an answer from him in writing, this whole process will be finished. So we need answers now. Otherwise, we can't go on with this item. We must stop this item. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Moti. Speaker Gert. Proceed, <coughs> Deputy. Uh, I propose that we take this item to the vote. Speaker. Colin Rens. There's a proposal that we take this item to the vote. Speaker, Colin Rens, please Can second it. Second it. There's no deliberations on this item anymore. We'll take it to the vote. Don't wait no further, Speaker. Speaker, Speaker, Speaker. Don't do that. Don't do that. We are going to deliberate. In the council meeting, we are going to deliberate. The deputy mayor, the deputy mayor, please 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 uh, colleagues, uh, Charles, there is a proposal for to take item. No, 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 Item nine. Speaker, I'm raising the point of order exactly on that. I'm raising the point of order exactly on that. All right, proceed with your point of order. Procedurally, Speaker, Hurt, I'm sorry, Councillor Hurt, the Deputy Mayor, wanted to speak. We have recognized him according to the procedural rules. Now, Colin is a, wants to wants your attention to speak. You skip him. You go to council against because it serves the interest that you want to see. It's wrong. Procedurally, it's wrong. Procedurally, it's correct. I said no, no. Don't say it's correct. Don't put it out. Why? Why can't you just switch us together. off and you can have the meeting all for yourself? Why don't you do that? No, switch us off. You have the meeting with yourself, man. Switch us off. Don't I'll, waste our I'll, time here. Yeah. No, don't Council. waste our time here. Yeah, we're not two men. Who do you think we are here? Yeah. Switch me off. I'm not going off. Switch me off. I you won't switch, switch me off. Yes, don't you don't. switch me off. Until you address the procedure correctly. You are wrong. Let the mayor oh. let the mayor say to tell us why he's why he doesn't want to us to know what is going on. Why, what is he yeah, hiding? Leave the, don't have the capacity to tell us, man. Leave the mayor. He don't have the capacity. Leave him. Uh, councillors, item yes. 6.9. Mayor, just hang on. Nobody, nobody talk now. Nobody talk. Speaker, item 6.9 on page 186. We will take it to the vote. And the vote is as follows. I will, I will call your name. You say you are for item 6.9 or you are against. I will start now. Before we go on that, no, no, I we go to the vote. I'm starting with the vote. Speaker, Speaker. Speaker. please don't speak. Speaker. 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 You are going Council to listen to us, speak. speak. We are members of this council. We are not visitors here. We are going to listen to us as part of the rules of this council. We are not going to put us into voting. We will say to you procedurally, you have faulted because you have not allowed Councillor Collins to speak before Councillor Kent seconded the motion. Councillor Adrian, sir, are you on? Yes, speaker. Councillor, all councillors, you indicate. You are in favor of item 6.9 on page 186 or not? But speak. Only say yes. I, 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 you only say no. Speaker, you out of order? No, speaker. No, speaker. Yes, speaker. Okay, you totally out of order, speaker. No, no, no. Council no, no. Africa. Council no. Africa. Speaker, I'm going to vote on your order. No, no, no. If we don't have. 
Vote correctly. Councillor Anderson. Member of order, Speaker. Councillor Anderson. Member of order, Speaker. Anderson. Speaker, 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 speaker. Speaker, please don't bulldoze us. We're not going to vote on this. Let us further deliberate on this issue. Councillor Andreas. I have a question of clarity before we go. Rita Andreas. Hey, man. I think that I used to shop more. I If we don't have the MOU, how can we speak? How can we vote on this? Andreas. We don't know what is happening. Speaker. Councillor Andreas. Can I talk, Speaker? Speak, Councillor Class, speak. Please, my request before you continue. Speaker, Council Andreas, I'm in favor. Senate, yes of no one. Councillor Andreas. Councillor Andreas, you're out of order. Respect Councillor Class, please. Councillor Andreas. Councillor Arnold. Yes, Speaker. Councillor Arnold. Speaker. Councillor Pakir, yes or no? Speaker, I want to deliberate. I want yes to debate this. No? It's not close yet. I'm not going to vote. Councillor Bester. Would you allow that to No, no, no. I can only see this. This is, this is why they yes, I want the car public to be part of this meeting. So they, they probably can't see what, is it, what they are doing and they tell what, what are they hiding? Councillor <laughs> 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 Speaker. Councillor Boyson, yes or no? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Yes. Councillor Buckle, yes or no? Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Combrink, yes or no? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Kibido, Felix, yes or no? Yes or no? Councillor Felix Skibidu, yes or no? Felix Skibidu? Felix Skibidu? Friend of all, yes, I am waiting for you to note me. Yeah, yes, uh, Patricia Kibedo, Pet Kibedo, Pet Kibedo, yes or no? Patricia Kibedo, so let you open. Councillor Davids, yes or no? Councillor Davids, no. Thank you. Oh, Councillor De Goede, yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Councillor De Witt. Councillor De Witt. Councillor Duba, yes or no? Oh, oh, yes. Councillor Ford. 
Councillor George, He's not yes or no? Councillor George? Councillor Nancy George? Yes, Speaker. I support it. Thank you, Councillor Hose. Yes, Speaker. Yes. Thank you. Councillor Jacobs? Um, yes, Speaker. I support. Thank you. Councillor Jonas? Councillor Jonas? Yes or no? Councillor Sweetness, Jonas, yes or no? Or abstain? <laughs> Councillor Jonas? Yes or no? Or abstain? <laughs> Councillor Kearns? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Class, yes or no or abstain? Councillor Class? Chief Whoop? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Kotze? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Crouch? Yes, Speaker. Councillor Landu is not here. Laru is not here. Councillor Kwas, Laru? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Anati? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Word of order, Speaker. Mangena? Speaker, Councillor Mangena? Shame, Councilor. poor Councillor. Shame, poor Councillors. No, Speaker. Thank you. No. Point of Thank order, you. Speaker. Councillor Masoko. We saw that message, Lauren Wering. We saw it. Advise them. I see now Masoko. that we are, we are an additional member of the DA. I am employed by taxpayers' money. Councillor Councilor Matia. In favour, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Benin is not here. Councillor Denusi. Yes, Speaker. Thank you very much. Say yes. Councillor Mayer. Abstain. 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 Thank you. <coughs> Councillor Muller. I vote yes. Thank you. Councillor Tuso. Yes or no or abstain? Speaker, I'm, I'm, I'm so. raised the point of order. I'm waiting to be addressed on my point of order. I'm not going to is yes, no, or I'm not going to told by you what to do. I'm saying I raise the point of order. I'm waiting to be addressed on the point of Councilor order. Councillor Makwena. Councillor Makwena. Councillor Makwena. Councillor Makwena. Yes, Yes, can you hear me now? I vote yes. Reek. Councillor Nyal? No. 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 It's a no. Councillor Nyals? Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Bulo? Yes, no, or abstain? Councillor Nobulo? He no, left, Speaker. He left. Sorry, he come left. again. He left, Speaker. Without permission. He was trying by all means to get hold of you, but he couldn't he, because you're so busy. But I'm no, giving he, you now a report. I'm giving you now a report. What must I do? Councillor again. I'm busy with no bolo, man. Just be patient, man. No, but we can Councillor Nomana. Councillor Nomana. Reigns, wait there. Yeah. Councillor Nomana. Yeah, you can't do it. 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 Councillor Nomana. Councillor 
in Zele, Lawrence. It's a no, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor Lawrence. Counsel, uh, Councillor Poole, Mayor. For, for a fair process and a proposal from the task team, yes. It's a yes. Side. It's a yes. Yes, from my side. Thank you, Councillor Reigns. Yes, no. Only if you permit, only if you permit the two we so to speak on this point voting. of order. Yes, yes only no. Only if you permit so to speak on this point of order. You're so not going to no. manipulate us here. No, no don't assume no. that your, your Councillor Richards. It's your view. Councillor Richards. On the record, that is your view. Councillor no. Richards. No. no. Thank you very much. We can't, we can't uh, accept this. This is unacceptable. Yeah, it's a no. It's only yes, no, or it's Because no. you are a dictator. No, you are manipulating this meeting. Yeah. Councillor Riggs. Uh, abstain. Why don't you give over abstain. to Councillor LaRue? Why don't you give over to Councillor LaRue? He will show you how to chair a meeting like this yeah, as a speaker. You got yeah, a not blast. fine. Yeah. He's not a fine. He's not fine, man. Councillor Rosman for the speaker's office. Yes, speaker, tell class. I said it's a double yes. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Simpoque is not here. Councillor Sauerman. Councillor Sauerman. Speaker, don't yes, waste speaker. your time. Those guys from the yes. DA, all of them will say yes. Just ask your position parties, man. Councillor September. Yes, speaker. At least our you. people to. To, to, to embrace our Smith. future relations for, for elections. Speaker. Speaker. Yes. Speaker, for our man with the stable leader after his relief. Councillor Rian Smuts. Speaker, did you get my answer? Yes, Speaker. Uh, yes, thank you. Speaker. Who's speaking now? Niklas Sauerman, I got yours. Sauerman, I got yours. Yes, Councilor Speaker. Sons. I got it. Councillor Solomon. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Van Kerk. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Reinhardt. It's a double yes. It's a double yes. Councillor Reinhardt. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Letty. Yes, ja, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Van Vogel. <coughs> Councillor Van Vogel. Councillor Van Vogel. Councillor Willemse. Ja, speaker. Dank u. Councillor Sikali. Councillor Sigali. Councillor Sigali, yes or no? No, Speaker. Thank you very much. Speaker. Councillor Van, Van Vogel. Councillor Van Vogel. No response. Speaker. Yes, sir. Speaker, 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 as Van Vogel, can you make work? Oh, Van Vogel? I say yes, I may my, my uh, laptop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next, 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 we we'll see it. We we'll continue. We we'll see it. Speaker. Speaker. Uh, Speaker. Yes. Start, no. Derek. Speaker. Speaker. Yes or no? Yes or no? Or if same? It's yes. Is it my name? Yes. Speaker. These are long enough numbers, but is it yes, no, or if same? Okay, that. It's a no. Blood Engels, we have a kind of blood Engels. Derek, long about. No. 
those that I missed, Councillor Amalda Africa, Councillor Amalda Africa, Speaker, I'm again rising no. in front of no. order. Thank you, uh, Amalda. A uh, lot me. of people here have spoken. Councillor, I don't understand what they said as a participant in this visual meeting. Yes, that speaker. is procedure. Like Thank you. I'm again yes. raising the second yes. procedure to you. That is wrong, speak. I'm, I want you to note me. I'm not going to go away out of this meeting. I'm waiting you for you to address me on my points of order. I can. Can you vote for Manda seven o'clock? Is speaker? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Councillors, just be patient, we tell you the votes. I have to praise you, Speaker. You do a wonderful job. Thank you, man. Well done. Um, speaker, just a point of clarity. Chief Whip. Proceed. You are still afraid that he's going to take your yes, sir. Chief Whip. Um, just, just check if you've called uh, Councillor September. Uh, speaker, don't you to that other Bring out a word, please. Right. Reading you in the wrong direction. Kalam te seram us amal yer vertag is op mooi vergaderen. Rustig wees. Mayor, while we are waiting for the for the for the outcome of the of the there, uh, there's, there's only there's only one meeting. Thank you, uh, Councillor Moti. There's only one meeting. The outcomes. Oh, of speak, our... speak, Moti. Speak. He I doesn't tell speak. you what to do. He speak. He recognizes who he wants to oh. recognize in this meeting. Yeah. He wants to get control camera. Speak. Why are you I scared of him? I want hey. to know whether there was a mayor. You can stop meeting. because Tom is before telling you to stop. Yeah. Those in favor. Oh of item 6.9 on page 186 uh, 35 those again 14 and abstaining three so item 6.9 is concluded councillor mcquena let's move on to item 6.10 okay the outcomes of that uh, verdict is manipulation because it can't be Councillor McQuena, I demonstrate you manipulated that our seat Speaker, I want to raise a point of order on the procedure of Councillor McQuena, proceed. I point ten. It's the council matters um, remuneration of public office bearers. Act number twenty. Point of order. 
termination of upper level of service. In a point of order, and I want to be addressed as such. Why is he avoiding us? You must uh, tell us we need to participate or not. We are in yes. our lives now as winner. the member of this council. Continue. Can you proceed, please? In fact, I think we must come where you are so we close that Hello, speaker. Council member. Council member. Proceed. You must. You must. You must take me out. Take me out. Don't hey, mute me. Take me out. Because I can understand myself. Take me out. I, I, out. I have the right as a member of this council to speak. I have called. Number 20 of 1998. I've called for a point of order. Delete me out of this group. Take me out. Allowances and benefits members of the municipal councils for climate governance Speaker, gazette I'm calling, calling for the point of order calling for the point of order why you for consider and as for 3.1 on page 194 195 I shall recommend Thank you very much, Councillor McQueen. Do we have a seconder? Kearns. Thank you, Councillor Kearns. Item 6.10, only one listed speaker, Councillor Tuso. You may proceed. Speaker, I'm still waiting to be addressed uh, on a point of order and that of procedure as the member of this council. So my participation is limited to your ruling speaker. I will not be participating. Thank you very much. Item 6.10 on page 192, unanimously accepted and so recorded. Your next item, Councillor McQuina, item 6.11. Proceed. On page 215 is a Salga circular, um, 16 of 2020, proposed contribu contributions to municipal solidarity fund to curb the threat and impact of COVID-19. Okay, the purpose of this item is, is for the Municipal Council to consider the circular and informing municipalities of the NEC Saga recommendations for councillors and senior managers to donate the April, May and June increment increases to the Solidarity, solidarity Fund. Uh, it, is recommend, it is recommended as per recommendation stated on page 216, 3.1 and 3.6. Uh, to, on page 217. I so recommend, Speaker. Thank you, Gabe. A second, Matia. Thank you, Councillor Matia. Alderman AB, you want to speak? Mm -hmm. Councillor AB, item 611. You. you may proceed. Uh, you, you are listed, okay. uh, Councillor. Uh, speaker, speaker, can, can you allow the chief whip to speak, please? Councillor A.B. Pakir, you you are listed. Chief, speaker, Chair. speaker, 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 speaker. Will speak. allow me to speak then. Speak. Speaker, let me let me rather uh, give to to to, to uh, the chief whip of, of the African National Congress, and I will speak so to the next one, six point twelve. Uh, uh, yeah. Councillor uh, Alderman Pakir, you forfeit your opportunity to speak, ne? No, no, no for, for this one, that's for not, that's not in, in, in line with our, with our uh, agreement. Councillor, Councillor Mauti, Councillor Mauti, no, 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 don't dictate here. No, man, no, man, don't be, don't be unfair. I asked you right from the no, beginning. Please be unfair. Please be unfair. Please be flexible. Please be flexible. I ask you in the beginning. You are not your children. You must have a way to speak to, to us. No, they're not. We are not gangsters here. We are not your children. You must speak nicely, please. Yeah, I'm speaking nicely. Very, very nicely. Councillor Mauti, proceed. Councillor Mauti? Councillor Mauti? 
Okay, let me let me proceed. Uh, I, I was hoping that the the, the chief who was going to speak, but let me let me uh, be, begin the uh, uh, chair. Chair, um, as the African National Congress, um, we we find this item uh, that you are uh, pro that is being proposed here a bit unfair, and it's not in 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 line with uh, the the Ubuntu that we are uh, uh, looking for in in this country. I mean, this, the president uh, announced a, 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 a solidarity fund, and the, we must look at the bigger picture and not look at uh, local. It, it seems like you, the, 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 this proposal is against contributing to the bigger picture. So just in short, uh, uh, Chair, we, we, as the ANC, we don't uh, agree with this and we want to vote on this item. Speaker Kuis. The president also announced that I can buy cigarettes. <laughs> we can vote on the cigarettes. Speaker, speaker, may I say something? Yeah, you must wait, you must wait till the corona get to you, then you will make jokes <laughs> of this. Wait till the um, corona get to you. Speaker, you know what? What we are asking from people in this plea of the president is something that we are already doing. In many of us, without hanging it on the big clock, is doing tremendous service in the community, putting their own resources. Speaker, in their point community. of order. Point of order. And that's mayor, why we have speaker, point of order, please. Season that we the will go that route. Speaker, Thank you. point of order, please. What's your point of order? Speaker, in the previous item, you didn't allow us to 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 to, to discuss the item further. We you said that you there was a proposal to to to, to go to the vote, and you didn't allow anybody else to speak. So let's do go to the have, vote, please. Do you have a seconder for that vote? You, 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 do you have a second? Don't, don't do vote? this, please, man. Don't go to the vote. That is, the, that is, your, that is the, the pros, pros, procedure that you are following in this meeting. Yeah, Councillor Moti, do you have a seconder for that, uh, that, uh, that vote of you? That uh, request? Councillor Moti? Speaker? Last time yes, I speaker. said we will get one million rand from national government. I I still know, uh, have to know whether the money is transferred in our account or what. So Man, how can we just put proposal. money in funds? Chair? Chair? Well, I'm not yeah, giving it to Chair? We don't agree with it. So let's I vote. That is, the, that is the standard procedure. Councillor Moti? You ask that we, we vote on this this item now. Yeah. Can I have a second for that? We don't agree. That's, yeah. that's normal yeah. procedure. We are just doing what you have, have done previously. Speaker. Speaker Gert, I can hear Speaker, can you acknowledge me, please? Speaker, I was, I was, I was on the list. Yeah, uh, councillors, councillors, can we just have order? Thank you. Um, first, councillor Mangena, and then councillor, then councillor Kombrank, councillor Mangena. Thank okay. you, speaker. Thank you, speaker. And the rest, be quiet, please. Thank you, speaker. I can't hear you. Can the rest of the councils mute their mics, please? Speaker, can you acknowledge me also? Chief of the AFC, can we have order, please? Speaker, can you acknowledge me? You have to talk, but I can't hear you. Can you acknowledge me? Comrade Colin, can you be quiet, please? Because now you are assisting those from the DA, but he's pointing on me, this one. 
the speaker. Yeah, thank you. He doesn't speak to, to his councillors. I don't know what's going on with him. He's just a dictator. Speaker, thank you. Look, uh, this province is not a province in Ireland or this Dragon State municipality that we must understand. And all of these municipalities from eight provinces, they have been assisted by Usalga. I fail to understand when a proposal of this nature is coming to us, the mayor will stood up and say, they are still waiting for monies from somewhere, blah, 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 and that side and, that, and this side. We are not interested in that. Let us not treat it like a stain of or E province, E Western Cape, as if is an island. We cannot do that. All of us, we are at the affiliate, affiliates of Salga. If the proposal comes from Salga, some of you, you are leading in Salga, but at the end of the day, you take decisions there. But at the end of the day, you come here and make a proposal of this nature, not to support the idea. I'm failing to understand that. And you must remember, if you are really a Christian, it comes from your heart. Money is for today and it's not for tomorrow. I fail to understand a leader of a community, of a dragon stain, a leader in church can speak these words. Thank you, speak. Councillor Kumbrang. Thank you, speaker. Uh, I just want to take everybody back to the recommendations. Recommendation 3.1 says the establishment of a national solidarity fund is noted and that donations to the fund be supported on a voluntary basis. Uh, Councillor Moti is completely wrong when he says that we don't support the national thing. So there, there it stands. Then it goes on to say that um, we must uh, establish a municipality a solidarity fund, which we do not approve. That, that's the uh, what we propose here, because all councillors, and that's what Councillor Mangena just now said, uh, all councillors from their hearts and from their pockets are busy working at ground level in Drakenstein to support our own people. And to have a, a separate municipal solidarity fund to put money in and then get a structure to manage this fund, um, it will take a long time before the money actually hits the places where it's most needed. So I just want to put that straight. It's not that we against the National Solidarity Fund, which says yes, noted, but then donations, please, out of your own voluntary basis to that fund and at ground level, do what you must do. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much, Deputy. Councillor Moti. Okay. I've, I've, I've given our, our uh, view on this thing. I've said that we don't agree with the, with the item as it's proposed there. We want to vote against it. Finish and clap. Just give us the vote. Okay. Item Speaker, six. before you give us the vote. Councillor Moti, I hear what you are asking. Who's speaking now? It's uh, Councillor Renz. Honorable Rains, you may speak. Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, just in short, Speaker, the good thing of this visual meeting is as you are reluctant to take the council meeting to the different areas, to the people who voted for us, the good thing of this visual meeting, they can now participate, they can observe, and they can hear, and they can see. So I just want to bring this under your attention. Thank you, Councillor Rains. Not open, open, open. Public is part of this thing. Uh, it's it's fine, Councillor Lorenz. So public can see what you also can do. Let's go to the vote. Yeah, they, they know yes. I can um, fight for the vote. They, they can, I can fight for their rights. Speaker, who was second speaker. The, the proposal of speaker. Moti? Speaker? Speaker? Moti, we're looking for a seconder for the proposal of you to go to the vote. Who second speaker, you? Speaker, I, I don't have a proposal. I don't have a proposal to, 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 to counter speaker. The procedure is there's a proposal on the on the on the uh, 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 um, on the table from the from the MMC. 
what we are saying is we don't agree. So we, you must you must now make a decision to vote on that item. We can't yes, vote on my, on my uh, proposal. No, no, you can, must vote on the proposal that's on the table. Why are you not voting? We've never done it this way. Vote. We are not I, voting for I, that I, item. Six, vote. Item six, don't eleven, press it. You don't want to be. It. On page two, 115, we'll take it to the vote. Just be patient. It's a simple speaker. thing, man. Just read the speaker. Items. You have treated the other items, speaker. Speaker. Why are you running to the books now? Just read this speaker. item as you have treated the other items. Speaker. Speaker. Can I propose something here? Yeah? You know why you are hesitating? Because you are also part of Salga. Okay, let's start. Those, uh, I'll read the names once again, and they indicate. Speaker, yes, sorry. No. Can, speaker, can I propose something here? Yeah. In our system, we do have uh, uh, indication of hands. Can we just go there instead of do what we are doing? Because the system in front is in front of us. We can raise okay. our hands from the system. No, I, I don't. I don't have all the videos counted on Gena. I don't have okay. all the visuals in front of me, so I will do it like this as we do it uh, previously. I'll start. Uh, Mayor Poo. Yes, can I get clarity, please? Councillor Jonas? He got out of the meeting, so I'm now lost. We are on. on uh, did you leave the meeting, Councillor? Councillor Jonas? Me, I was out of the meeting, so I don't know what happened. Oh, we are voting now on item 611. Yes or no? Yes, speaker. Or no? All right, I'll start. Mayor, okay. yes or no? Yeah, Mayor? Speaker. Councillor Poole, yes, yes or no? Speaker. Yes. Thank you. Councillor Zele? Speaker, can I just, uh, just, just for the report, Lawrence? for assistance, speaker? Lawrence and Zele? Speaker. Councillor Lawrence and Zele, yes or no? Against, Speaker. Against. That's a no. Councillor Reigns, yes or no? Against. That's a no. Councillor Nomana? Councillor Nomana? Councillor Nomana, yes or yes no? Or no? Councillor Nobula? <sighs> Councillor Niaus, looking Niaus, yes, yes or no? Yes. Councillor Niaw, yes or no? No. No. Councillor McQueen, Patricia McQueen, yes, speaker. Councillor Tuso, <laughs> my position, my position still stands, speaker. It does not change. What is the position? You must uh, you must ask my position, my position from the speaker of the standing position. I am not going to participate. Yes, I'm I'm still, yes. I'm still addressed on the position of it. Councillor Bali Bayer. Yeah. yeah. Councillor Denusi. Councillor Denusi. Yes, speaker. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Yakumati. Yes, Speaker. Councillor Masoko. Councillor Mangena. 
No. No, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Anati. Yes, speaker. Yes, Thank speaker. You. Alderman Laru. Yes, speaker. Councillor Lahu. Councillor Richards. No. Thank you, Councillor Riggs. No. Councillor Ross. A yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Sawaman. Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor September. Councillor September. Councillor September. Councillor September. Yes, speaker. Councillor Smith. Yes, speaker. Councillor Smith. Yes, speaker. Councillor Smith. Yes, speaker. Councillor Adriaanse. Councillor Adriaanse. Miriam Adriaanse. Yeah. Okay. Councillor Africa. No. 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 Thank you. Councillor Anderson. Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Rita Andreas. Yes, speaker. Councillor Pakir. I am Hold against the, the proposal. Against. It's a no. It's a no. Councillor Bester. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Blankenberg. It's a no, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Boyson. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Packel. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Combrink. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Felix Kibido. The plus workers are ignoring for the PLD. Councillor Patricia Kibido. Councillor Claire Davids. Claire Davids. It's a no. Thank you. All the Yes, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor David. Councillor Ford. Councillor George. Nancy. Hey, what's up, Mama? Course, Kakul. Councillor Khaus. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Jacobs. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Jonas. Speaker, because I, I, I was out. Yes, My stand is. Yes. Can I just say yes or no if I don't know what to be talking about? But I just want to clarify. My point is that. Councillor Kearns. Councillor Kearns. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Klaas. 6, 3, 5. Oh, Councillor Klaas, Tembi Kiele, Tembi Kiele Klaas. Ja, die, 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 die router zijn Spijlberg hoog letter. André Koegelenburg. Ik heb net geen drie keer, maar dat is een no. Yes, no, no, no. Ik ga niet hier. Yes, Ik ga niet hier. Ik ga niet hier. Ik ga niet hier. Ik Calvin Krotz. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Uh, Rian Smats. 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 Rian Sm
Wach, 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 Councillor van die Kerk. Ja, speaker. Ja, Dank u. Councillor van Nieuwenijsen. Yes, Councillor van Nieuwenijsen. Dank u. Councillor Letty van Santen. Ja, speaker. Dankbaar. Councillor Van Vogel. Elisabeth Van Vogel. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, speaker. Kom, kom, kom. Jullie moeten jullie moeten goed leren, man. Kan ons wel eens? Ja, speaker. Dank je. Ik druk hier aan de hoek. Kan ons kali? Kan ons laten kali? No, speaker. Thank you very much. Kan ons de stomen? Yes. Speaker, point of order and procedure. You don't have a right to vote, speak. You are again breaking procedures of this meeting. Speaker, kan ik nou maar iets zeggen? Burgemeester, nee, nee. Als het binnenkort klaar, dan kan ik iets zeggen. Of hoe vast, burgemeester, hoe vast, hoe vast. Ik wil je aankondigen. Speaker, kan ik iets zeggen? Seems like we're both gonna sit in the same treatment, man. <laughs> wow, he just said. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is one time when the speaker is to be in charge visually. You must stay visually. Eh? Don't worry to give us results. The A is on our to read. Speaker, for your announcement, can I say? You can't yeah, put the team like in the council. Alma would vag no. As did Ian meeting. Tuso, ah, ah, that my mayor prat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, councillors. The outcome are as follows. Thank you, thank you. Speaker, speaker, can I pour your announcement? It say. Burgemeester, burgemeester, <laughs> laat ik het nog een aantal. Als het ondou, als het een uh, aanbeveling. Speak out, we're waiting for the announcement. We, the, procedure, we have ruled the, the recommendation has an option for a voluntary contribution. So it's not net just to say no to the, to the proposal, but let the people that say no, no to the proposal also 
let the administration know how many money they have to deduct from next month. Maybe that must be decided on. Thank you. No, 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 Two out of order, man. No, not the country. You must be done. Don't be done. Yes. Um, no deductions, please, speaker. We are already contributing to the National Solidarity Fund, please. Uh, Councillors, the outcome I as follow. Uh, item 611 on page 215. Those in favor are 37, and those who voted no or are against, 12. That's the outcome of item 611. Councillor McQuenna, proceed to item 6.12. Thank you. I want to read it yes. before. What about Councillor McQuenna, proceed. Councilor McQuenna, proceed to item 6.12. We need clarity on that, Speaker. We can't be left just like that. You must allow us to have clarity in respect of this. Councilor McQuenna, proceed to item 6.12. We already voted. Proceed. Item We want to know. On the payment of Saga membership fees of seven seven million four hundred and fifty nine thousand hundred and eighty, which is calculated as a percentage of staff costs until Saga and national government has considered the funding model for membership against the backdrop of the of the financial burdens of the national uh, state of disaster on municipalities. It is. We, uh, we recommend, um, as per recommendation stated on page two to five, recommendation 3.1, um, we request that recommendation 3.2 be omitted, removed, and only the recommendation 3.1 uh, be uh, uh, recommended. I so recommend, speaker. Thank you very much, Councillor. Can we have a seconder? Councillor Ross, Ross, thank you. Yes, Councillor A.B. Bakir, you lost it. Speaker, Speaker, I have a challenge here where I'm sitting. I heard that Councillor uh, um, McQueen is saying that item 3.2 or 3.2 be removed. No, I don't have the liberty to see what 3.2 is. What is that? Uh, Councillor McQuenna, read 3.2, please. Yeah, can you hear me? Proceed, Councillor. Yes, I hear you clearly. Okay, the recommendations are net 3.1. A moratorium be placed on the payment of SALGA membership fees until a response has been received to reconsider the membership fee model and until the municipality uh, being afforded the opportunity to to first consider whether payment of the membership fees of 7,459,180 in the respect of the 2020-2021 financial year is financial, financially state, sustainable in view of other budget priorities as well as the economic impact of COVID-19 on its budget and 3.2 the city manager in consultation uh, in consultation with the executive mayor is authorized to pay the membership fees after considering the Salga response and the collective position of Western Cape municipalities. That's what 3.2 is reading. Alderman Bakir. Alderman Bakir. 
Your Honor. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, as far as I am concerned, and I believe that many of us as councillors in the Western Cape and Drakensen in particular, Salga is a national body and a national body that are serving nationally all the councils. Now, I fail to understand why it is that specifically in the Western Cape, why is Western Cape uh, treating Salga as if Salga is just there, while the other eight provinces are treating Salga fairly? Why is it that municipalities in the Western Cape don't want to be or less associated with Salga. And I will say that, I'll be fair that, I mean, as Drakenstein, uh, and as the, rather as the African National Congress, we won't go uh, with uh, what we have in front of us. We strongly feel that as municipalities, and because Salga is serving municipalities, we must support Salga. And I don't believe that Western Cape must now pull itself out of uh, the whole thing of Salga and, and uh, abort Salga. So we, we are totally against that. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Councillor Kombrink. Uh, speaker, just to put that into context, we are not saying we are pulling out of Salga. Um, I've requested from the chairperson of Salga Western Cape, uh, uh, Alderman Anton Kutsia to give us a breakdown of all 257 municipalities in South Africa in a per province manner for the last five years. What were their accounts and what were their payments that was done? Because um, it's a general knowledge that the Western Cape is subsidizing a lot of the other provinces, which brings in an unfairness in the whole thing and we would like to get the fairness in the system so that we pay our fair share and other uh, municipalities pays their fair share. We're not saying we're pulling out. Um, for now we're staying in because we do get a lot of good information from Salga but we just want to be handled fair in the uh, account, the size of the account and uh, at present we don't see that it is fair. Thank you. Councillor Speaker, uh, can I, Speaker, can I respond to what the Deputy Mayor is saying there? Yeah. Go ahead. Speaker, Speaker now, if that is the case, now, as Dragonstein is a city of excellence and it's a big municipality, now, if we see that some other municipalities and other provinces are not, are not doing that well, why not assisting that municipality or come up with a model saying to other provinces, listen here, this is a model that we have in the Western Cape. Link up with the other municipalities or link up with the other provinces and see how, as Dragons, or rather as Western Cape, how can we assist them? Rather than saying, no, 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 no. They're not bringing the fair share to, to, to the table. So because of that, this is, how, how, this is how we view it and how we will treat Saga. I think that is what we need to do. Thank you, Alderman. Uh, Colin Rains. Councillor Colin Rains. Uh, speaker, I've seen that he's got a problem with his uh, phone battery and he, he left. I think the battery went down. Thank you. Councillor Mangena. Uh, thank you, Speaker. Uh, I think yourself and your older men in the province, uh, Deputy Mayor, you are so defensive on this matter. It is a reality that you, you in the Western Cape, you have pulled out from Salga. That is a reality. Don't be so defensive about this matter. Thank you. Councillor Tuso. I mean, speaker, I can't hear you. I'm going to repeat. How do you so? You're on. For what? Item 6.12, you listed? No, I'm not participating up until I'm addressed right. in my point of order. Councillor Mbouti? Yes, Speaker. You know, I'm, I'm a bit worried that the explanation that the, the Deputy Mayor gave 
now does not correspond to the explanation and the reasoning in the in the recommendation. And then secondly, um, shouldn't we first speak to Salga and negotiate with them on 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 in view of the fact that the the, the, the COVID nineteen is going to affect our budget, and then afterwards bring it to council. The, the 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 amended uh, uh, um, or reduced price if if it's reduced why do we go why do we uh, uh, get council to approve it before you are speaking to you've spoken to salga when we had the problem in paying our our loans with the banks we went to the banks and negotiated a, a, a deal and then it came to council afterwards so I fail to see why we are doing it this way, the other way around now. Thank you. Speaker? Uh, Mayor, you on? I think uh, OB proposal, I want to support it. And then I want to uh, correct Motor Richards is exactly what 3.1 is saying. A moratorium be placed on the payment of Salga members of fees until a response has been received to reconsider the membership fee model and until the municipality being afforded the opportunity to first consider, it means they have to come back to us whether they can, uh, can uh, minimize or maximize the amount. And after that consideration and within the consideration of the whole Western Cape, we will actually make a decision. And yes, it's because of the COVID-19 as well, that it's also going to impact on our budget. We have to let Saga know, we as a member feel that we have your uh, um, assistance in that regard, you have to assist us. Whether you can give us a waiver on your member's fees, that will give us a breathing space. So it's not meaning that we are actually moving out of Salga. No ways. We are thus uh, 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 organizing or yeah or yeah consulting their fees for this year. That's all. And it have to come back uh, for the city manager Michelle. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. Of Speaker. Speaker. Please. I don't know. Indicate. Give, just give your name. Who's, who's speaking now? Pakir. It's Councillor Rens. Pakir, uh, 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 let's give Rens first a, a, a chance there. Councillor Rens. <coughs> uh, thank you. Uh, speaker, the way the Deputy Mayor explained and the mayor, and the way the Mayor tried to further explain uh, what, I, what I experienced, it seems that between the administration and yourself as politicians, uh, you failed to convey exactly what's been said now in this meeting. So maybe in future, if you can just come with any other items in the future, uh, which make it clear what you are trying to explain to us, uh, they will, I, I believe there will be less contesting on the battle of ideas. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Alderman, back here. Speaker, I totally disagree with what the mayor was saying there. I feel that the two can run concurrently. Don't withdraw the money. Don't put a moratorium. Just give to Saga what is due to Saga, and we can still set up a team that will engage with Saga regarding this. But don't put a moratorium because, I mean, Saga already, I mean, with all the incomes of the municipalities, they already planned. So if we are going to have a moratorium, put a moratorium on, on, on paying the money or losing the money to Saga, it's going to be a problem. So that is why I propose, don't put a moratorium, let the two run concurrently, the moratorium and engaging with Saga. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Uh, are there anyone who want to talk on this uh, item? Okay, it seems to me that everybody's in favor of it. So item 6.12, on page two to four, unanimously accepted and so recorded. Thank you very much, Councillor McQuinna. We move over now to engineering services. 
Order men Koos Leroux, Johan. Speaker. 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 Ja. Council Begeer, Alderman Begeer, ja. Speaker, you are saying here that uh, unanimously, what is unanimously uh, accepted, Speaker? Uh, are you not in favor of the, of the item? No, no, Speaker, we are not. Speaker, we deliberated and I gave my view, or the view of our, us as African National Congress. Mm -hmm. the, the mayor was saying the moratorium, I was saying no with the moratorium. Let us give to Saga what is due to Saga. So that is different positions. Speaker Abraham Bakir is a councillor, is right. We have different opinions. We have to vote on the issue. And so let us vote. All right, let's take this one also to the vote. I see the real speaker now, Mr. Poul. Conrad Poul, start with you. Yes or no? Yes. Colin Reins. Colin Reins. Colin Reins. Mouter Richards. Mouter Richards. Colin Reins. Colin. Ik weet nog niet wie is Colin Reins. Dat was officieel council. Ik weet niet wie is Colin Reins. Wat is officieel council? Council of Colin Reins. Wie is de council dan? Yes or no? Yes or no, Councillor Colin Reins? Yes or no? Councillor Richards? Councillor Richards? No. Baie dankie. Councillor Riggs? Now, no speaker, no. Yeah, yeah, they can't start. Wait, Jim, no, yes. Councillor Ross. Councillor Ross. Yes, speaker. Come on, let's have a good time. Okay, you're on top. Nicholas Sauerman. Nicholas Sauerman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Councillor September. Councillor September. Councillor September. Councillor September. Councillor September. We proud now. Yes, speaker. Yes, speaker. Yes, yes, thank you. Councillor Smith. Councillor Smith. Lawrence and Zele, Councillor Lawrence and Zele. Councillor Lawrence. Speaker, that's a great name. That's a great name. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you. Councillor Nomana. Councillor Nomana. Councillor Nomana. Councillor Nobula. Councillor Niels. Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Niel. No. Thank you. Councillor McQuina. Yes. Thank you. Councillor Muller. I vote yes. Councillor Mayer. 
Ja, meneer is speaker. 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 Councillor Hendrik Mathieu. In favour, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Mangena. No. Thank you. Councillor Anati. Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Alderman Laru. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Jan Smats. Councillor Jan Smats. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Solomon. Yes, Speaker. Councillor Van de Kerk. Ja, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor Reinhardt. Ja, Speaker. Thank you, Councillor Van Santen. Ja, Speaker. Thank you. Ja. Councillor Van Vogel. Councillor Van Vogel. Ja, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Willemse. Ja, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Sigali. Councillor Sigali. Hi, Somlom. Hi, Somlom. Oh, it was. Councillor Adriaanse. Ja, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Amialda Afrika. No. Thank you. Councillor Joan Anderson. Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councillor Rita Andreas. Ja, speaker. Thank you. Uh, Alderman Pakir. Alderman Pakir. Nee, voorzitter. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Bester. Yes, speaker. Thank you, Councillor Blankenberg. Councillor Blankenberg. It's a big, big no, Mr. Speaker. Okay, what is it? Councillor Boyson. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Bakko. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Kombrand. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. Councillor Felix Kibedo. Councillor Felix Kibedo. Ja, Speaker. Dank u. Councillor Claire Davids. Nee. 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 Thank you. Yes, Speaker. Thank you. No. Councillor Duba. Councillor Nancy George. Er was omlaam. Een koska koosies. Councilor Goos. Yes, speaker. Thank you. Councilor Jacobs. Yes, speaker. Councilor Jonas. Sustain, speaker. Abstain, not sustain. Abstain. 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 Oh, okay. Thank you, sister. So. Councilor Kuntz. Councilor yes, Kuntz. Yes, speaker. Of course. Councillor Klaas. Councillor Klaas. Tembi Kele. Goss. No comment. Epstein. Uh, Kuglenburg. 
My vote is yes, Speaker. Thank you. Enda Skotse? Yes, Speaker. Salva Krots? So, Councillor, join us net out. The uh, camera answer that men will have seen. What am I about? Class has seen now. But I can just tell you, sir, no, I'm not can see. No, I'm not can see. What am I about? Class has seen. Ik heb niet gezien, ik zie jou nog hier. Ja, daar is een fout daar bij jou. Dat is wie je bent bij jou. Oh, dat kan net van mij zien, maar hou maar zo. Je was er van gepraat, hè? Yes, speaker. I am ready, speaker. Thank you. that noise? Switch off your mute your mic, please. You might as well be swearing. Nancy, Nancy. Councillor Nancy, mute your mic. Councillor September, mute your mic. Councillor September, mute your mic. Councillors, the outcome of the voting. Item 6.12. Speaker, two, speaker. Two to four. Speaker. Ja. Niet van mij vergeet hoe Councilor Kraut is een groot groot ja. Ja, je is je is aangereken. The outcomes on, on uh, item 6.12 on page two to four are as follows. Those in favour of the Salga membership fees that item, the yes. Uh, 35 in favor, no's are 11, and abstaining are 2. 35, 11, 2. Thank you very much. So that concludes item 6.12 on page 2 to 4. We move on to item 6.13 on page 230. Alderman Kurs Rue, you're on. Thank you, Speaker. Item 6.13 is the adoption of the revised integrated waste management bylaw. In short, it means that we need to give more powers to the peace officers and that we want them to be able to, to, to uh, charge more for offences. The recommendation speaker is on page 231, listed as 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 3 and 3.4. I shall recommend speaker with one revision Speaker, if you look at uh, page, let me just get to the page, uh, 245, and C, there's a reference to an impoundment fee. The um, sub-clause there is listed as 64.5. It should read 62.4. Then the item is correct, and I shall recommend, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Alderman Kuhs, uh, with that rectification. Do we have a seconder? Kearns. Sir. Thank you, Councillor Kearns. There are no listed speakers, so item 6.13 on page 230, unanimously accepted. And so speaker, speaker, may I add my voice, please? Look here, I want to say something on that. Say... Uh, you may speak. May I speak? Yeah. Proceed, Councillor. Okay. Uh, speaker, thank you. Um, I agree with a lot what is happening in this uh, thing, Speaker. I just hope that we are going to have, this time around, proper law enforcement. 
They does not have law enforcers that are afraid to enforce the law. Uh, the other thing, Speaker, I also uh, agree, and I would like the municipality really to do this, to make this huge containers available, containers that work in some of our uh, areas, to make that uh, containers available. And if we can have the following, Speaker, uh, in the different wards, and there the councillors can attest to that, Speaker, where we can employ one or two people that will police that container, especially those people coming with their buckets and so on to drop all the other stuff, to stop them from doing that, police that containers and the neighboring area there to make uh, to, to keep our areas clean, Speaker. So we need to go out on a severe awareness program also in terms of recycling. If the municipality can, uh, can, can rather step up the thing of recycling, so and I believe then that if our people will gain out of the recycling, that uh, less loitering will take place uh, in our communities. But the ultimate thing will be our law enforcers and let them also be available during weekends, Speaker. They must move, especially where the hotspots are in our communities and, uh, and, and really do what they're supposed to do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alderman. Uh, Item 6.13, unanimously accepted and so recorded. Thank you very much, uh, Alderman LaRue. We move over to social services. Item 6.14 on page 292. Councillor Eva Koos, you may proceed. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Speaker. Page 292. Item 6.14, library and information services. Quarterly report for the period January 2020 to March 2020, submitted for information to Council. The recommendations is on page 299, listed as 3.1 up to 3.3. And just to be noted, we had to cancel all programs planned due to the COVID-19 outbreak. It is recommended that the quarterly report be noted and I so recommend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor. Second by. Come again. Laru. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alderman Laru. Item 6.14 on page 292. Speaker. Unanimously accepted. Can I say something on that one as well? Uh, you may comment, uh, okay. Speaker, the library okay. services, that is very important to our communities, but I just got a feeling that our rural communities, uh, uh, they're not being brought to, to the party, Speaker. If we speak about libraries, uh, I just see it as libraries in the urban uh, part of, of Drakenstein. Do we have decentralized or small satellite, uh, satellite uh, uh, libraries, uh, especially our rural kids? So that they can also benefit in terms of like the reading, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot, and all that. Can somebody please enlighten us? Speaker. Also, House. Speak. Also, speak. House, proceed. Also, House. Also, AB, we take note of that one. S you are breaking Hello? up. Yeah. Speaker. Go ahead, Go ahead Councillor Goes. Speaker, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, uh, uh, Speaker, there is libraries, especially containers in the rural areas, as in Gouda and uh, um, Samondium and Son uh, uh, Runway. So we are taking care of those rural areas also, but we will do more for that areas. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, that conclude your item, Councillor Goes. This week uh, we want much more for the rural areas. Thank yeah, you. We, we, will, we will work towards it. Uh, thank you, Alderman. Speaker, are you going to give me a chance this time? Uh, we move on to well, item. Speaker, are you going to give me a chance this time to address and advise on the item in front of us? Six. Uh, or oh, you have decided okay. to do that and not to listen to me. Lorraine Wallem, sir? Item 6.15 on well, page speaker, 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 speaker,
Can you please inform the council why you are ignoring Councillor Tuso? Councillor Lorraine Willemse, are Thank you here? Thank you, Speaker. Proceed yes, speaker. on item 6.15. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Item 6.15. Please inform us why you are ignoring Councillor Tuso. Councillor Councillor Lorraine, proceed. Thank you, Speaker. 6.15 of 1661 Dali Project, conclusion of Smart Partner Agreement. Point three, the recommendations. As follow 3.1, council approve entering into a smart partner agreement with Instruton to Instruton to develop social housing units at Mountain Reeds Estate. And point 3.2, the city manager be authorized by finalized documentation to give effect to the decision as per recommendation 3.1 about and other subsequent subsequent project agreement and may need to be concluded. I saw more speaker. Thank you very much, Councillor. Seconded by Councillor Ross. Seconded. It's our award. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Councillor Soda Ross. Councillor Mangena, you're on. Councillor Mangena. No, I'm fine, Speaker. Thank you very much, Councillor Moti. You didn't answer me on, on, on my question that I, I raised I, about I, 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 Councillor Tuso. You are I, I, ignoring I, 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 me. Do you want to talk? Oh, let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. But you are you have you have you have, and Zena, you are Councilor undermining Zena. Councillor Tuso as a councillor of this of this council of this council. Councillor and Zele, on point your 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 listed or to speak. 6.15 in your area, Council and Zele. Covered, Speaker. Thank you very much. Item 6.15. Speaker, Speaker, can yeah. I also add my voice to it? Yeah, you can add your voice. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I want to speak on, in terms of that agreement with Inserton. Um, I believe that that is one of the big contractors. Now, I've always, and, and the ANC always spoke uh, uh, about uh, the contractors and the big contracts in Drakenstein, but it's only certain people that's getting the big contracts. And our small guys, the smaller contractors, never get an opportunity. Now, we also spoke and we also said that Drakensee municipality must bring that people to the to the table, saying that these are the small contractors. Please make use of these guys also for for the, for the work in all the projects here. And as we are sitting here, we just hope it is not just yet another one. They where one of the big contractors come in here, getting this agreement, and our smaller ones will just land up here by the wayside. Please, speaker. Thank, thank you very much for that positive input, uh, Councillor um, Alderman Bakir. Thank you very much. So, item. I just hope that something is going to be, be done about that also. Definitely. So that we don't have a, a talk shop here. And when we go out here, then things will just go on as, as, as normal. Yeah. Thank you very much for your input, uh, Alderman yeah. Bakir. Very positive. Item 6.15 on page 301, unanimously accepted and so recorded. Councillors, this brings us to item 7, matters for consideration and information. There are none. Point 8, urgent matters submitted by the city manager. City manager, are there any? Thank you, Speaker. Um, there was a, there's a challenge with my uh, laptop, so I had to switch uh, the laptop. Um, I think it's important that I just give feedback on some critical issues. And let me also just make the point that um, a number of issues raised by various councillors are noted, and we will deal with those. And it is not as if those comments are not uh, taken serious and that we will not action those. 
Um, in terms of essential services, uh, councillors, it's important that we report back, and I, and I know that you are receiving daily reports, but that uh, water and sanitation in terms of essential services, waste management, electricity, emergency service in terms of the fire services, law enforcement and traffic law enforcement and financial services are currently up and running. So we have opened our financial services as well for people to make account arrangements and to pay services in Wellington as well as in Paul. And we will soon open our licensing, vehicle licensing offices in Dal Yosefat as well as in as Wellington. The only point that is uh, keeping us back at this point is NATUS is not up and running nationally, but we are speaking with those uh, authorities. And as soon as NATUS is open, we will also open our um, traffic offices in Dal Yosefat as well as Wellington. We are giving daily updates, daily reports to all councillors via the chief whip, but we're also uh, posting daily updates on various matters on our Facebook as well as on the website. Currently, we have approximately 175 um, homeless people in three centres, as you know, and I think that's well covered. Our challenge is that these, these started with the uh, feeding or the food security for those three centres, and they now terminated that. So we're now in a situation that Drakenstein will have to foot the ball. Uh, we are also, if I can move to the next point, the preparation of council facilities. There are clear guidelines and regulations stipulating how we must prepare the workplace. We must have workplace plans for each building, each depot. So my teams are busy with that, and I'm sure that you know those councillors who did come to the main building would have observed that people are screened, that there is social distancing, there are hand sanitizers, and uh, people are wearing their masks. So I think we are we are uh, complying with the regulations but we are working very hard to prepare all the workplaces so that when we move to the level where the offices are all opened, that our staff will be safe when they return to the workplace. Uh, the Department of Labor already visited and inspected the main building, the uh, Civic Center, and we got a green light from them, stating that they're very impressed, and this is the first municipality where they actually visited the municipality where everything was in place. The only comment was people must please wear their masks when they leave their offices. I would like to move on to the second point, um, Speaker, and that is the COVID-19 situation in Drakenstein. We are in the hands of province, so I can't give you more information. I'm in the hands of the HOD of province, and as we get the information, we give it through. It's sometimes very frustrating because all you get is the total cases and not the number of recoveries and active cases. But we, after we... Uh, discuss this with them. I can report this morning, and I'm sure it will change during the day. The total cases reported to date in Drakenstein, COVID-19 cases, is 6-7, 67. Uh, the total recoveries in Drakenstein to date, 18-18. The total active cases as we speak, 4-8, 48. The total deaths, 1. So that's the situation in Drakenstein. The isolation of active cases, as well as self-quarantine, is coordinated and managed by the Department of Health. So this whole process of screening, testing, isolation, even the facilities are managed by the Provincial Department of Health. Areas, if you, if you take the 48 active cases, the areas that are actually the hotspots, so if you look at, look at it on a, on a heat map on GIS, You'll find it's in Newton specifically, uh, Paul East, Van Wijksvlei, and Wellington. So those are the four areas, and then there are one or two in other areas, but those are the four hotspots making up the 48 active areas as we speak. In terms of the humanitarian social situation, uh, we must remember that the food security and the prov provision of food parcels is not a local government uh, competency. It's not our job to purchase food or to distribute food, and we would like to actually stay out of that space. But we were forced because there were promises made by national government and DSD that they will distribute food as well as SASA, and they were very slow in distributing that from provincial side, and we had to step in. So at this point in time, our biggest challenge is to ensure that we focus on the needy and not the greedy. 
The problem is that there are people taking two food parcels instead of we taking another food parcel to a really needy family. So it's important for us to coordinate all the databases. And we have a technical team led by Lauren Waring and uh, Ian Ming uh, Ingelmoor that collects all the databases, all the beneficiary lists, to ensure that we're not allowing double dipping. So all distribution, we try and get that on one list to ensure that we know where the food is going. And um, we have distributed so far, uh, and by the end of this of May, from Drakenstein in terms of this partnership with Valcare, and we'll speak again about Valcare. We've got nothing to hide there. We will bring the MOU to council so that everybody can see that we will distribute 5,000 uh, hampers. Each hamper is feeding five people for one month. So that, if you multiply by five, is, it will feed 25,000 people. That excludes our soup kitchens. We are running the 11 soup kitchens across Drakenstein, and those soup kitchens are providing warm meals. So we're not counting those. We are carrying on with those. We did, did that before uh, COVID-19, and we'll proceed with that during COVID-19 as well as post-COVID-19. But added to that, we are covering the gaps that DSD and SASA is perhaps not covering. The 1.8 million, 1 million we received from provincial government, Western Cape provincial government. We did not receive to date anything from national government. We did get an indication that we will receive 477,000 rand from uh, national treasury. We have not received that, but we expect that the, those monies within the next two weeks. And that is for uh, hand sanitizers and also for hum humanitarian support. But that we have not received. So we looked at our own situation and we, as an interim arrangement, came up with 800,000 as an interim arrangement. And as soon as we get grants from national government or even from provincial government, we will put that money back into our coffers because we prefer not to use council money unnecessary for um, food security. If it is necessary, we'll have to go there as well. But the 1.8 million is 800,000 from Drakenstein's funds at this point in time and 1 million from Western Cape province. And the uh, agreement or MOU was with Valke working with 200 MO, uh, NGOs across Drakenstein. And that was the quickest way to actually cover the gap. We did not have the luxury to take three weeks or a month screening people. So it was important to get to somebody with uh, financial statements and you can actually also after this matter clearly indicate where the money went. We are not paying people. We're not, we're not, uh, it's not uh, somebody making profit out of this. It's a non-profit uh, situation and it's about feeding uh, the people who are really in need of, of money. We also received from um, rural development 30 water tanks. All the 30 water tanks are actually installed, and we did that very quickly. Um, those are installed in informal settlements as well as on farms where there were water, water problems, and those water tanks are on a daily basis uh, filled up and replenished by um, a, a, a mobile water tanker. In terms of the economic situation, I'm moving to the last point, speaker, and that is that we're already feeling the pinch of COVID-19 in Drakenstein. And the last month, we've now concluded the um, March income. We have a decline of 26% in payment, which equates to 27 million that we got in less than the previous month. Now, that has a severe in, uh, implication on Drakenstein in terms of our ability to pay our creditors, etc. The impact will have actually be worse in the next month but we'll keep council updated. So we are forced to, re to adjust our budget and to review our current budget. I'm talking about the 2019-2020 budget, and we will table an adjustments budget like all other municipalities uh, with a COVID-19 input mid-June to council. We, will we are also, as we speak, reviewing our IDP, we including COVID-19. When we, when we submitted the draft uh, IDP, COVID-19 was not uh, included in there or considered. So we must now do that and we must also review our total budget that we will table the end of the month uh, to ensure that the projections in terms of revenue and what we can do and cannot do is realistic. So we will bring a budget to council that will cover that.
I think that covers uh, the report that I wanted to place before Council. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, City Manager. Uh, Councillors, we move on to our next item. It's item nine, consideration <laughs> of notices and motions and notices of questions. We don't have any. Speaker. Item 10, the Speaker. supplementary agenda. We don't have a supplementary agenda. Speaker. Speaker. Uh, Councillor Mangena. Yes, thank you, Speaker. I want just to to comment to something here from the speech of the city manager. Okay. Uh, I do agree with him from various departments that there is a lot of uh, help that we are getting. But the problem, the challenge that we have, some of the officials of these departments, they cannot do their work properly because most of the managers, the so-called uh, directors, whatever you call them, they cannot take a decision sometimes. They must first consult with the directors. For an example, engineering department, there was a problem of a drain in the W block. When I spoke to the officials, they referred me to Mr. Lotz, and I couldn't get hold of him because they, could, they couldn't do anything without his permission. I should think the city manager must look at that one. Because you must remember, some of these managers, to get them, to get hold of them, you must phone them direct to their cell phones. Sometimes they don't pick up their cell phones. Uh, I should think I must also congratulate the department of uh, e, e, I, e, IET. They've been assisting a lot. A lot to us. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Thank you, uh, Councillor Mangena. Yeah. Councillors, this brings us to the end of our meeting today, our first virtual meeting. I want to thank everybody who participated in our meeting today, those who arranged the meeting, our officials, our IT Except department. To me, of course. I say thank you very much to everybody, and we'll see each other in two weeks' time when we deal with the the budget related issues in our council meeting. So thank you very much to everybody. Stay safe and go out and serve the people. Don't be on next, lockdown. Next yourself. time I'm coming to that office. Thank you. 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 Well done. Well done, well done speaker. Voice to speaker. Can I just well done, speaker. Well done. Well done. Hang up officially? Yeah.